Hello, hello. Hello, my beautiful friends. Let's see if we are live. As always, better later than never, right? <laughs> Please let me know if you can see me well, if you can hear me well. Um, I can see myself on the screen. Hello from South Germany. Hello, everyone. It is so good to see you. Thank you so much. Before we start, um, I'm going to ask you three things. Some of you, believe it or not, um, are watching my videos, but you are not subscribed. You would make me so happy if you could actually subscribe to my YouTube channel now. All you have to do is just be logged in into some uh, Gmail account and just subscribe to Marami. And then also you can choose the option uh, to show you all the notifications, all the uploads, all the videos, everything that I share. That's one of the uh, things. Uh, second of all, if you could like this video, that would be quite amazing. I see there's over 100 people watching and there is only 50. Half of you like the video. Of course, there's plenty of those that are not logged in and you are just watching without even possibility of liking the video because you possibly are on the TV. I get it. Uh, but if for those who can, that would be fantastic. And the third thing, um, honestly, it would make my day it would make my week <laughs> if you could share this video uh, on your social media because this way we can see uh, more people, more people can see us, more people can watch this video, join the live class. And it doesn't happen recently that often that I have live class and I couldn't believe when I checked that the live class last time was in August, like early August. That is really, and now it's the end of January, so that is really giving us six months of no life classes so that's quite a lot um so yes um for some of you it's not the first time being here and for some of you maybe it is the very first time so welcome welcome everyone i have to say i'm a little shaky and nervous as if i'm doing this for the very first time and i said it to lucas uh, he's of course next to me uh, hidden I said it to Lucas that uh, I'm nervous and he goes, oh, come on, you've done it so many times. And it's still a little bit nerve wracking for me because I haven't done it for quite some time. I haven't been looking in the camera for a very long time. I avoid actually this more than, and oh, I'm talking, talking, and I didn't even check your chats. I I think Lucas is reading the chats for me. If there's anything, <laughs> he'll he'll say. But I think I before I, before I hibernate myself into no breathing uh, moment, uh, I I think I have a sip of coffee. So cheers, everyone, whoever could join. Thank you, thank you so very much. I'm super happy. Uh, hello, everyone. <sighs> So many uh, familiar names and plenty of those that I have never, never seen. Hello, everyone. Thank you so very much for joining. Honestly, I know I only set it up the live class yesterday, so very short notice. Hello from UK. And this is not our usual time because usual time would be three in three hours. So like 9 p.m. Actually, uh, in four hours. So 9 p.m. for me, a bit later uh, for Europe, but later for everyone. But I have asked uh, yesterday on my community tab on YouTube channel if you would like to join tomorrow at this hour. And 80% was yes, I can, I can be there. So that's fabulous. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, my friends, for joining. I see people from Poland. I see USA, Canada, Nebraska. Where are you from, guys? Where are you? Australia. Australia? Lucas have said Australia will never join. <laughs> it's the middle of the night for them. Is it the middle of the night? Yes, it is. So USA, Sweden, Norway, Sweden, Poland, Canada, Sweden, Mex Mexico. Wow, that's very unique. Canada, France, Germany, California, Estonia. I see lots of you, you uh, Europe actually. Uh, California, of course, USA, UK. Hello, everyone, my beautiful friends. Thank you so much. You are from everywhere. <laughs> um, it is actually so good to be back, you know. It feels that it's like... It's kind of back. We are back to our everyday sort of feelings of crafting, of being in the studio, back to live classes. Uh, 3 a.m. in Australia, yes. <laughs> Lucas is showing me three fingers. <laughs> 
Wins win win con wins win Wisconsin 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 sorry I'm so sorry Missouri Florida hello I see my Aida I see my beautiful uh, Belgium friend that I was teaching I see you guys Laurie welcome everyone that is so good thank you and uh, thank you so much for liking the the video again and for sharing honestly it means so very much to me um, actually, maybe this is also quite a good moment if you have any questions, um, any questions, like honestly, any super burning questions, fire away. As you probably, maybe, maybe you know, maybe you don't, we had a very tough last year. Um, Lucas's mom was in our, you know, thoughts and life very much so for the past year she got sick and unfortunately we had to say goodbye on September so that kind of you know that kind of affected uh, the life classes that that kind of but it, it did you know so um so it's been a qu qu quite a weird year and that's what I'm saying that I think we kind of coming back to ourselves a little bit if you can go back to yourself like you know it's never the same but <sighs> oh thank you <laughs> thank you first time live here and mm. uh, so it's been it's been different it's been a bit more quiet for the live classes however I've been very busy on my Instagram and um, the other YouTube channel how many of you knew that I have another YouTube channel and it's called not Maremi small art but very similar Maremi simple craft believe it or not there is I don't know I think it's around 40,000 already beautiful people uh, subscribe to that channel which is unbelievable to me it's quite insane and it's a lot of painting watercolors uh, simpler craft and I hope for this year even more paper craft and things we shall see and uh, so that was you know taken away from um, you know from this channel as well building the new one which is doing fantastic and I so much love and enjoy the new channel and enjoy paintings back to watercolors acrylics as well but usually mostly watercolors and uh, December uh, was such a busy crazy time because I've done a lot of Christmas crafts painting cards if you haven't seen it yet you you should check them out because it's quite a lot beautiful you had no idea deepest condolence thank you thank you so much Lucas is reading your comments I'm sure he appreciates that thank you if you can pop in uh, maybe link to that channel for some uh, for later on oh hi Vicky through the same at the moment oh I'm so sorry do you know you never um you, we like when when all of this happened to us I have said it to Lucas that this is one of the things in life that nobody gets prepared nobody's teaching us about it nobody's telling us what to do how to react and you know it's like it's like a, a totally new chapter in life that happens to you without invitation because you don't invite any of it to your life it happens and it's like sneaking to your life and you have to deal with it and it's 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 tough it has been tough you know but I think you can the way was we try to understand everything is that we just know that it's we're not the only people who have it and who will have all sorts of obstacles in life. So I guess that's how we try to understand it, that, you know, mm, yeah. Looking at Lucas, mm, like he, like, you know, everyone is um, sharing te tears still. It's like, it's impossible not to. I, I look at the sky and I said, look at that. It's always like the sky now. It's so meaningful to me. Always have been, but now it's whether it's daytime and the sun, nighttime and the and the stars. You know, it's 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 what I see. It's what I tell myself that that this those are the waves <laughs> from our angel. You know. <clears throat> I'm so sorry to whoever's going through that. Um, no words can comfort anyone and no words can be, yeah. Like you don't know what to say and what to do, you know. Brazil. 
It is surreal, unreal, surreal. And that's what Lucas said to me, Marta, until I don't I don't wish for it, but until it happens to a singular person, you only then can really feel how it is. Like it's so, so surreal and still does feel like that even four months now. So, you know, but let's, um, let's talk about maybe some things that could cheer us because in today's live class, I hope that at some point Lucas will press <laughs> the button somehow and we'll be gift, we will gift 10 uh, memberships, free memberships for random people. Uh, as far as I remember last time, it was just basically hap when, when I pressed, when Lucas pressed it. I think Lucas um, pressed it that time. It was randomly chosen from the chat. I think it's my guess only but i think it's chosen people the most active on the chat i could be wrong but that's what i understood that when it was like happening i think it caught those who are the most active on the videos in general on the youtube channel i think i i could be wrong i don't know <sighs> the girls are doing good thank you so much for asking emily is uh, over 16 hannah will be in two weeks three weeks she's gonna be six so they big girls <laughs> <clears throat> how many hours i have spent in studio doing christmas um i think i counted and i think it's over 70 or over 80 projects uh, during christmas season and i'm talking about mostly reels but a lot of youtube videos as well for the other channel i have been making every day something editing you know f uh, coming up with ideas um trying to uh, promote that as well share everything like a lot of hours every day but i have to say this year as well gave me this um, it gave me actually amazing boost during christmas because if you will check my instagram and if you um i i can maybe tell you however i don't want to sound like cocky is that a word i don't want to sound that i'm trying to be outsmarting anyone or trying to be saying how he, how super I am because it's nothing to do with that however this Christmas videos on Instagram were quite in, insanely taken well by the Instagram itself because some of the videos would have most of them would have millions of views some of them would have one I think it's nearly 20 millions a lot of them are having millions and millions of views and I think when I was doing starting Christmas videos on, on Instagram I I think I had something like 150,000 people uh, following and in two months it grew to half a million. I think I'm like 10,000 away from half a million, which if you think about it, it's crazy because I'm on Instagram for the past, since it started. So what is it? Is it 10 years, eight years, eight, eight years maybe? Since the beginning, since there was no reels, nothing, there were just photos and beautiful you could beautifully color uh, color those photos. Um, there was like Instagram was just starting out. I was there, so you can imagine that all these years I have worked for 150 number of 150, and then I tripled that number within two months, which is uh, sad as well. At the same time, when you think about it, because you've given uh, eight years of your of your life work there, and then I tripled that number within two months last. Like it's insane. So. And I have enjoyed, and I have to say it was very much encouraging knowing that people are watching those Christmas videos. So it was, it was as well a great encouragement to myself. Every day. Oh, <laughs> how are your stress? I have to say that I, I even said it to Lucas, I think yesterday that I feel that the level of my anxiety, my life anxieties come down much so because i i am very much a worry worry person i would worry about the noises if i hear something upstairs falling crashing i i will see the worst i will imagine the worst if i hear the um, phone call from my parents see my mom's ringing and she never does i would panic i would know that something is wrong so i would be having a lot of these um negative thoughts the level of anxiety is huge my worry was huge but it's actually like the last weeks and months it's so much better 
I don't know why I do try to keep myself happy, busy with work. I don't watch too many of things that I don't enjoy. Like even Lucas is listening to news when I don't listen because it's just, I don't like it. It just makes me upset or stressed. And I watch a lot of Netflix in the evenings now. Really, really got into Gossip Girl actually. <laughs> Quite an old series. I'm sure a lot of you probably watched it. I like it because it's like, it's actually taken away my mind off and it's great. Um, you inspired me to start my YouTube channel. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so happy to hear that. Christmas videos were great. Loved uh, Valentine's videos are just as great. Yes, I, I somehow I had way more inspirations in my mind for Christmas than now Valentine's. Uh, but I hope I'll have some more Valentine's. I would never think that you are a sweet person and really down to earth person. Your Christmas videos were fabulous. Thank you. Your art hits all the buttons in my world. It is beautiful and your enthusiasm for beauty is infectious. Oh, I hope it is. Thank you. I find Instagram painting really so relaxing to watch. I actually have been finding them very relaxing to record. It really gave me some sort of peace and I truly enjoy editing them as well. So making them pretty special, unique, Oh, eye catchy, inspirational, everything, all the emotions. I love that as well. So I love it. I love I probably make one reel a day or every second day like, like the longest I go because I just do love it, honestly. <clears throat> I struggle with anxiety. Yes. My first time visiting your channel. Well then, welcome. <laughs> I have tons of toilet rolls and never know what to do with them. Where well, we will be using them today for our um project, right? The toilet rolls. Because our houses, believe it or not, they are from toilet paper rolls. <laughs> I have started doing my own Instagram videos, but I haven't done for a while as I need to set up my new camera. Well, Laura, if you really want to know how I record, uh, I don't set up my new camera. I record my reels with my phone. This one is my phone. Um, it's called, um, what's that called? Oh, Google. It's Google Pixel 7? 7 Pro. Uh, it's phenomenal. I have two Google Pixels. I have 7 Pro and 6 Pro. Uh, I got this 6 Pro last year and, well, Lucas got it and then 7 Pro when it came out now it's I think number eight available um, I'm waiting Lucas actually <laughs> I, I do use a lot of phone way more phones than any other than this camera which is GoPro and then the video camera that I record like phone I would go through phones and I would really really use it so and believe it or not I record by holding in my in my hand I don't I don't put it in the holder. I record while I paint and I hold while I paint. So you are more than ready, Laura. <laughs> Unless there is something like I have, I have to squeeze the roll with two hands, I'll ask either Hannah, believe it or not, many times she was helping me to record. She would hold the phone and I would like, Hannah, don't shake, please don't shake or don't touch me or rest your hand on the table, stuff like that. Or I would ask Lucas or Emily. So the three of them would come in, whoever have free moments to help me and hold when I have to use two cameras two hands to hold the camera on this side so if you look closely all my reels are 99.9 .9 reels are recorded by holding with one hand painting with another <sighs> sorry I talk when I'm nervous I talk a lot uh, I don't know how you get those ideas well I, I I'm no different to any other people I get to my old ideas I surf through Pinterest I surf through Instagram I'm inspired by people's work as well equally but I do try to put my own twist to it because there isn't possibility these days to really be so unique no no there is like there are from time to time coming up those phenomenal ideas that you think wow I've never seen this before but this is very rare for people like me that I am in that industry of creating for the past 10 years, I, I think I've seen it all. I can remember where I've, most of it I can remember. Where's the inspiration from? Sometimes, rarely it happens that I see it, I, I save it or I don't save it. No, I do see it. I try to save it. Sometimes I see it something quickly and I don't save it because I'm on the wrong profile or something. But still, you get inspirations truthfully. Everyone gets inspirations from someone else and you just put your own twist to it or you mix it up different ideas. And they even say like you have one, two, three, five ideas, put them together in the bag and create your own version of it. So um, sometimes you are very close to being 
copying uh, someone or being copied by others. So it's, you know, but a lot of it I'm trying to, like one of the most unique ideas that definitely it's my own, like we're talking from zero to hundred percent. It's my Christmas reel where I'm, I did the Christmas wreath and I painted with the spoon. Nobody did it. Nobody ever did it. I've never seen anyone doing that. I've never seen anyone doing this way, painting this way. And this reel is very popular. Funny enough, in UK, some um, uh, some um, nursing home with the people with the, the, uh, with the, um, um, not special needs, but older people with dementia, 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 and all sorts of older people. Beautiful place. They have used my video to uh, to their residents, and one of the lady, she was ninety eight years old, have used my idea. And uh, they gave me credit for that uh, when they were posting her her own card and herself in that video. And they have mentioned that it's Maremi's original video. Would you believe, I shared it as well because I was so proud of it. And would you believe it that I think her video got millions of views. And I think some TV was right, uh, some either magazine, newspaper or TV was mentioning her saying that she's an uh, internet sensation and I was like feeling super proud that that sensation came together with my project and it's it's beautiful you know and this gave me this actual situation have showed me proved me that this is why you're doing it for so many years Marta you don't know who you're gonna reach and why and what what happened after and I was so happy so proud to see that um, you know so some ideas are really like a pure 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 original but it's very difficult these days to be as pure as uh, like I'm telling you it's like you going to Pinterest and it's hundreds and hundreds of the same projects all over they just mashed up differently so so thank you for saying I'm unique but I don't think I'm that much unique we all try especially those who make videos who try to inspire we do try to be unique and not copycats, the, giving your own new version of things. So, yeah, I, if if that's what I do, I'm super happy to hear. <laughs> You're glad you caught me. The video just started over again. The red line was at the end and I brought it back, but video is art beginning again. What a beautiful story. Yeah, they mention people. Uh, yes. Oh, I saw that video. It was awesome to see. How do I speed it up? I think you just put it, a lot of elderly residents have zero confidence in their hands and cut. Yes, that's very true, Laura. As always, we are like 20 minutes into chats, not even doing projects. But if you, if you know my life, this is what happens on that life class because I have so much to say. I haven't shared anything for months now. We haven't been chatting. I was doing voiceovers. Like it's just a different type of recent months happening. So it's, I feel like I have to catch up with you with my friends. So I don't realize how many beautiful piercing you have in your ears. Oh, I actually, <laughs> look is smiling because those piercing are like this is one of the things that we are on complete disagreement with Lucas, right? I always wanted to do piercing in my ears when I was Emily's age. I was not allowed. You know, like it was over 30, 25 years ago. They were not even piercing places. So what I did is that, uh, for example, this was done by my parents, right? The main, the main earring. And then two bigger ones were done by... What is it? Lucas mentioning something. One second. Oh, yeah. I think um, the YouTube is doing some new stuff and they have uh, advertisement ads going during the live. I don't know whether you're able to skip that uh, ad. I hope you can. Um, so back to that. So I just wanted to say that I have done uh, this one. My parents did it when I was a tiny person. And then the other two I did myself with the needle, with the potato, you know, old school, old way, right? So that was how I had my earrings. But I always wanted to have more. It was just, I was just not allowed. So when Emily came to me and she was like putting this thought in me for weeks, I was like, I don't want to be like my mom who said no to my 
desires when I was a teenager and I was thinking if that's what she needs I may as well allow it and actually since I always wanted it I may as well do it with her so that's what happened we went when Lucas was in Poland um we came to Poland as well, but to my parents' house. He was in his parents' house. And I said, no, we're never, because Lucas was always against all of it. So I was like, Emily, we have to do it now. Or like, if we be with that, he will never let us go. So we went to do extra earrings, three earrings, like in here, in here, and in here. She had the same three. We were very happy, very proud, and loving it and all. And then a few months later, we always felt that this ear was feeling very empty compared to this one. I think I need a sip of coffee right now. <laughs> Advertising for a horror movie. What horror movie? Oh yes, for the the <laughs> the potato, is it? And so so then when uh, Emily's birthday were coming September, I knew that I want to surprise her with earrings and I knew I can't say it to Lucas. So I, I basically lied to them both and I said, we're doing girls day out. I'm going just with Emily to town, to, uh, to town next to us. And we're just going to go for a meal. I'm just going to do some shopping with her, just without Hannah, without you even. And Lucas was like, come on, I'll go with you girls. I drop you. You don't have to worry. But I know that you like when I drive and I'm like, no, not this time. No, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So basically we went in we did all of that food shopping and stuff and something like five minutes before going into the uh, tattoo piercing place I said Emily actually I have to tell you something we're going to do earrings again oh my she was shaking she was delighted ecstatic and she was like mom I didn't decide what I want I said don't worry we figured it out so we then did extra um, earrings on like, I know I'm 40, yes, and I know Lucas says, you're not a teen anymore, Marta, you shouldn't be doing this, and he's all against it, because also, but let me just finish, so we did on the other ear, and then because I have these earrings, uh, and they kind of many years old, I did extra too, so I have plenty more than Emily, uh, so I look like that really crazy hippie person, not, not, not that I have anything about being hippies whatsoever, quite opposite, my best friend is um more happy than me actually and I love that but I wanted to say that um the whole purpose the whole process of healing of it oh um gee if I knew if I knew if Emily would ever told me how long this will heal that it's months and months even a year I don't think I would do it but because we've done on one ear we had to finish not that we had to but I felt so I know it's at everyone's cup of tea and I know I'm old to do it and it looks very childish or whatever, but I just, I truly love it. I love both sides. And I can't hug to Lucas because I can't, like you have to sleep on that position. You can't sleep on, on ears because they're going to just get worse. So you're sleeping in that <laughs> position. <laughs> I'm sleeping like this for the past year nearly and it's, it's hard, you know. <laughs> it's difficult. It's a commitment. Uh, but I love my earrings so much. <laughs> exactly. Do what makes you happy. And that's what I thought. I knew that I'm doing this very much against Lucas. But I knew that Emily is like... And I have uh, said it to... I said, Emily, one thing, please promise me. I said, you can have as many earrings you want but nothing on your face. Promise me that you're not going to do anything here, 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 because like, if you do these things, the, the, really the, the, the holes, they don't heal. There's always scar left. I said, when you be 18, you can decide about your face. However, this, you can, you know, cover it up. People may not see it. You'll be fine. It's ears. It's different. So we had a pact and we had, she had promised me this. Um, yeah. I'm turning 70 real soon and I'd like another piercing in my ear. Go for it! I have three in one ear and one in the other. You're not too old. Enjoy the life. Do you know what? I have it on my Instagram recorded on on stories on both place on uh, both of those occasions when Emily was doing her earrings myself as well. We, ha it, I think it's bonding time as well and it's so important. I think, yeah, it, it's something that I hope when Emily will be 
um, older, when she will ever have maybe her own kids, she will be able to say, this is what I did with my mom. She's She was a bit crazy. She was no fear person or whichever. Or, you know, I would love her to remember it that way. I tell you another story about doing silly stuff. When she was turning 16 on September, Lucas had to leave for Poland emergency because mom was already in this, like she, she, we knew that things are just happening. And that's, that's the bottom line. You have to fly as soon as possible, which happened that he flew on her birthday. So quite bittersweet situation. Like, you know, I was like, how unfortunate that he had to flew on her birthday, 11th of September. Uh, so I was like, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. So I went to the shop. I got the biggest one number helium balloon. One number six helium balloon, smaller pink, and a huge, massive unicorn helium head balloon, colorful with rainbows. And I said, Hannah, we have to do it for Emily. We're going to make her um, smile or she's going to dislike me to the rest of her life. So what I did is I drove to her school with the balloon sticking out from the car because I couldn't fit them in the car either way and I have all of that recorded as well for the future whatever she actually did not sit down into the car when she saw what's going on she was so embarrassed she was she couldn't believe it she knew it's me of course she knew she knows me and she goes mom when she sat down in the car she said mom how could you do this to me this and that she was very upset angry and I had this faith that right now she's angry but maybe in half an hour she won't and uh, everyone was passing of course the car and I parked in the wrongest the most wrong place because it was in the middle of the school basically park car park everyone could see that there was nowhere else to park so um she didn't even sit down in the car for the first 10 minutes she was standing few few um steps away so most crowd would pass without knowing that it's her car <laughs> I found it quite hilarious. But of course, a 16-year-old does not find these things hilarious. However, afterwards, some kids did say that it was actually a cute idea and that they wish to have their mom to be this spontaneous and crazy and do it for them. Uh, and afterwards, of course, Emily was like, Mom, I will forever remember that. I said, I hope you will. I really hope. And I know it's... I said, in the long shot, you you, you will think of it as a good thing. Um, and I promise you that those that, that say that it's so cringe and not nice, they in, inside their heart, they probably wish to have the same. So, um, oh, I'm telling you, yeah, I hope she will laugh from it one day. Um, I'm glad it's working. So, um, so, yes, I'm a bit of a rebel person, I have to say always have been um my husband is quite opposite so he would keep me to earth down to earth a lot and anytime I have a chance to escape I do <laughs> I do it <laughs> I left the trail of balloons on lamp posts all the way home for my daughter on her birthday she was embarrassed but still loved exactly exactly this is also yes this uh uni and she goes mom but unicorn, really unicorn, and I was like, exactly that, exactly unicorn. Like you, you couldn't ask for anything better. <laughs> oh, I think I still see people are watching, which my stories weren't too boring to uh, to leave the the video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching for half an hour in, and we're still there. So ask me quickly if you have any questions, and I wanted to say and mention that actually YouTube changed. Uh, interestingly enough, YouTube changed uh, a little option for the membership, which I wish, wish to mention because that wasn't before. I wanted to say if you ever decide for click join button for being member, member means it's like Patreon. It's like basically um, becoming a member is uh, supporting even further for extra perks. But what I wanted to say that if you click the join button even now, you will see which videos are for which level, which never happened before. So truthfully, people would be wondering, oh, the baby shark, the lowest level, will I get any videos for that? Or will I get extra videos for the watermelon level? Because there are, there are levels depending on 
Watermelon is Emily, Baby Shark was Hannah, um, Knock Knock was Lucas level, and then My Remy is me. <laughs> I don't know, like we had these, we came up with this three years ago, so... Uh, so I wanted to say that if you have been curious of what you get for those levels, you can actually check it because if you go click join uh, the membership right now, you will be able to actually see and scroll to the right which videos are available even for the lowest level because uh, for the lowest, smallest level, um, in theory, there is no videos, but it's not true. Even the whole Spain, uh, Christmas in Spain that, Spain that we spent, uh, the vlogs, uh, little chats from that uh, trip were uh, shared for all the members. So it's not true that the lowest level doesn't get anything, no videos, because you get a lot of videos. And if you join now, you can see over, in general, there's, I think, over 160 videos or something, depending again on the level, but you can go back and watch it. So whoever is going to win the membership as well today will be able to go back, check the playlist for members and see the videos. Uh, tickled. <clears throat> The speed button isn't working. I clicked on a higher speed. I, I, I'm sure that the teachers were looking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All of your mixed media projects. Yes, I'm kind of less mixed media now. Uh, for those who didn't see, uh, I've made this gorgeousness project recently. I loved it so much. Um, I think it's so pretty really so pretty i love it love it the process the video it's so very special i have to say i think i would love this to go in the print really um and as, speaking of actually of earrings one of other thing that i would love to do is the tattoo i so wish for a tattoo going here on my hand maybe on my arm here but lucas when anytime he hears it he's like forget it girl but then I'm thinking at the end of the day, it's my hand, right? Or not. Uh, but I'm a bit scared of the pain, I have to say. And I think not even pain, not, nothing. I'm more scared that I know exactly what I wish to have tattooed. I found two artists. One is in my hometown in Poland. Because um, the, the way one needle sort of tattoos are not a typical or not a often met artist. So I know exactly what I wish. But just the fear that what if I won't like it? What if the tattoo is not going to be what I ask for that's my biggest fear nothing else not even the pain not like the healing process but I would love that's still something I wanted to do, do it for my 40th I didn't I did earrings instead <laughs> and also I did it I think because it really feels that it's a bit more it is a jewelry it's like a decoration of yourself however it sounds uh I I think I like that I got my first tattoo a few years ago at the age of 49 no way <sighs> That part of the arm is not very painful for tattoos. Lori, tell me how you're feeling because I have seen your video. I'm glad to see you here in the chat. And I hope and wish for a speedy recovery to you. Yeah, <laughs> you gave birth to the children. Tattoo is nothing. I hope so. <laughs> I've had a lot of ear piercings recently. Ooh, I even know the names. They. Helix, Conch. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Some of the names I remember. This one is this one was the most painful because it's in like it's really inside of that like they all on the those bones on the bones kind of thing. So it's 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 tricky. The pain is it's tricky. But we found a very good piercer as well in town, which is important. Design it all myself. Oh, I just don't get your rib to your hip done like I did. Just don't get your rib to your hip done like, oh, no way. St I'm feeling okay, still tired a lot, but good. Well, if you're here, that means you are a little bit back. <sighs> Last week, 38. Woohoo! Really sunburned, more uh, painful than tattoo. Hired an artist and we refined it till it was perfect. Oh, 
tattoo artist. Oh, lovely. Hip is the worst. <laughs> okay, any questions, guys? Because if you have no questions, then... Oh, yeah, I wanted to say about the online store. I have added... Uh, some time ago, I just didn't mention it uh, because... Truth to be told, we just, you know, we left it because we were so busy with um, Occupied with Poland and with going there and everything that we just didn't want to add up more to our plate. But I have added, not, I lowered price, some prices for the stamps because we won't be bringing them back. Whatever stock is there, it's there and things won't be reprinted, probably reproduced. So if you have been hoping for... Uh, getting some tissue paper, rice paper, something is back in stock. So check it out. There is lots of amazing, huge boxes, sale boxes from my studio. More is coming. There's some original artwork as well there that I have put on my to my store. Um, plenty of paper flowers, sale, lots of sale is there. So if you could check it out. Oh, Marie, thank you so much for joining Watermelon. Oh, we have a new member. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> and as well, uh, uh, speaking of membership, you can see the little flowers and little hearts next to the name. The flowers, the flower color, depending on how long you are the member. And after five different flowers, colors, flowers, you get those teal uh, heart, which means you are the longest and from the beginning, actually on my channel as a member uh you, you see the i love that heart i have to say so that was like a reward to us all for those who are the longest and i think in a year or in half a year i don't know there is another heart planned with this the bow i think i can't remember but i had because that option was not available because the membership was only um, introduced three three years ago so they were only badges for like one to three years nothing above that and i think they only changed it recently hello from uk hello hello we'll be we'll be starting soon i mean now so if you have any more questions uh, we ship worldwide except uk still due to brexit unfortunately i truthfully if we ship to 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 uk we have to register va uh, taxes we have to register separate stuff for uk shipments it's like a completely new sort of like we uh, Lucas does all the paperwork, all the accountants, everything by himself. VAT, yearly taxes, everything he does by himself. So he said to me, for the time spent over UK and everything, it is just does not qualify with all the taxes. We need to pay extra being registered there. He, he said, we're too small, Marta. We're too small. Maybe we'll change that at some point. I don't know. Maybe I'll find some other way. I, but I had no head to it. Truthfully, I had no head to it. Even shipping orders in general were taken very long from us. Uh, well, I'm going to just tell tale on Lucas. He was just not in the place to sit down and pack and while well, I was packing but even even when the orders were ready he was like struggling to force himself like his mind was elsewhere I really hope um that now we are on the kind of terms where we are able to focus a bit more and really get back to stuff being on the track any questions any questions I found shipping international just not at the moment yes as I started my Etsy yes Oh, it's the first time I've caught you live. Hello, <laughs> that's so good. Hi from Belgium. Um, no, it's 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 expensive to ship and it's very difficult. It's uh, very expensive actually. Um, what was that crazy shipment in our by our post? Was it to Australia? Was it what was what, what is it reg like a regular uh, little let's say uh, up to kilo or over five hundred? What was it like crazy? 40 euro, like 40 dollars to ship to Australia, uh, like a small, we're talking few stances, few stamps, 40 quid, like, yeah, Lucas is <laughs> showing me fingers. <laughs> so it's just very difficult, you know, as well to, to that. Um, so we didn't have much time to shop, to be honest. I have updated some of the stock. Um, if something is out of stock, 
95% it will not be back in stock. So grab things before they go. The first ever paper, we have only a few left. So if you wish to have our technique, it will never be reprinted back because we did reprint and we have only a few boxes left. So if you wanted our technique, my very first paper, which is amazing, uh, get it yourself because it is very special paper pad that I made myself. Um, yeah. What would be possible to pay, pay Conic or bank contract because I don't have Visa or something like that? No, you can pay PayPal. Uh, no, possible to pay, pay Conic. No, we don't have those payment options. Shopify doesn't give those, to be honest. <sighs> it's a shame. Mm. Even shipping car to Australia is about twenty dollars. Exactly twenty pounds. It's very expensive. It's in. It's in. It's you know. It's like really tough. So um, for us, shop had been kind of put on the side a little bit uh, for that particular reason. Plus, uh, as I have said, uh, we we kind of don't know what we're gonna do. Do you like Shopify? How do you like Shopify? I love Shopify. I think it's worth every penny. Never had any trouble with it. Um, no. I, I absolutely love it. And then before we decided for Shopify, we have checked other options, few other, and Shopify was the best in my eyes. Um, so one thing I would suggest, uh, don't go for the cheapest plan, I think, because with the cheapest plan, I think you have in your name of the shop, let's say maremishopify.com. I think it's it's better to have maremi.com but it's more expensive. I think I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so we have to have a look because if you will start with your name of the shop, it will be difficult to change it if you decide to have it the, without the Shopify in the name. So have a think about that. That's one of the one of my suggestions. Oh, Vicky, thank you so much. Guys, what is happening there? Thank you so much, Aida. Oh, you are so good. All the pink hearts. Thank you so very much. I see no questions, right? <laughs> you are so kind. Thank you so much, girls. I have your birdie canvas and your escape journal. Yes, you have it, Laura. You purchased those. Uh, so there's few. There is more artwork coming to the store, definitely. Please keep checking the store, I because I don't. Uh, necessarily uh, share that information that the stock is updated or that I added a few things but I I have been cleaning the studio uh, look um, yeah I have been cleaning the studio and I have been putting things away that I want to put in the mystery boxes the boxes are oh yeah show me I have packed a lot of beautiful chipboards so chipboards are gonna be um, in stock a lot of uh, I think three four new sets are gonna be there uh, added very soon as well because and bigger bulks as well because um we just wish to move the store and think what to do next because truthfully we just don't know whether we're going to keep going with the store at all or we're going to focus on making videos only honestly i just don't know yeah i have your decorated box on my crafting things oh i love it. oh i'm so happy you have missed me oh thank you guys it is so good. To, lots of people are leaving, I think, because of <laughs> because of the chat. So, guys, if you have no more questions, let's move on to our class. So we're starting with our gorgeousness little houses. Let me show you them once more. Um, I think Lucas is trying to tell me something. What is it, baby? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Lucas is concerned about you getting some ads. If you get any ad, just press the skip button and it's going to be back to it or refresh it. Um, I still didn't figure it out because that was a new thing that when I set up the uh, live class yesterday, it was asking me all these different questions. So that was quite shocking. Anyway, I just had an ad. Oh, yes, you just had. Exactly. So uh, we love you. Truthfully, every single artist... Uh, depend on the ads on YouTube. So by watching it or skipping it or watching videos with the ads, this is how we make our living. It's no secret there. Uh, but I tell you a funny story. When I started new channel, I started doing a lot of reels, plenty of reels. And I think if I'll check 
the whole year last year how much money the reels made which i think was let's say i can't remember but let's say it was 60 videos 60 reels 60 reels i don't think it made more than 15 euro 15 dollars so reels they don't pay like i mean you have to have mm, millions and millions of views which i don't uh, to to be paid so that's it youtube is very weird for that matter it changes policies all the time it changes the algorithm all the time i had been tired of it as well to be honest and it 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 was not easy to to act that actually probably gave me thinking what to do what to record and it was lucas like he goes marta let's just do life let's just do life we need life i'm like that's a good idea, Lucas. And I wanted last week or two weeks ago, but Tim had life. So someone mentioned, I'm like, okay, let's postpone it. Okay, Lucas, you can add an extension onto Chrome that stops at. Oh, all right. I had no idea. I had my told that all my uh, neighbors from my um, from my estate have been bringing the whole December uh, toilet paper rolls in the bags, uh, leaving them outside our uh, door on the hand. That was actually hilarious. Look at goes, what is going on today with that? There, there, there are rolls everywhere outside our house. And like I've asked my our neighbors, and so yeah. Okay, let's uh, turn the camera around since there's no more questions. If you have any questions, please fire them away. I'm gonna try to read it. Um, yeah, are we? Ha I have probably like, yeah. I even said it to Lucas. I said, you know what, Lucas? Now with that many rolls, I think I'm. I would love to make a house for Hannah from those, like a huge toilet paper rolls house. That's my idea. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but why not? This is my first life with you. So whose life is the uh, first one? I'm going to turn the camera and you tell me uh, about whether you, this life is your first time or... Yes. Oh, actually, one second, because we have a little friend coming. Would you like to say hi quickly before I turn the camera? Hello. <laughs> there you go. Can you see yourself? You have to actually... You need to be a little bit lower and you will see yourself. And Hannah has a makeup on done from, with Emily. Emily did makeup on her. Uh, hello, first life. First, wow, so many firsts. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Can you read? You see, that's hellos for you. If you ever wondered about Hannah having different I eyes. I see the purple hair that said Hannah. Hanya, yes, that's so true. If you ever wondered about Hannah having brown eyes and me having blue, now you know what eyes have Lucas. <laughs> if you ever wondered that, how, how, like, Emily is blue eyes and this one is, like, black. I'm going to sneeze again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm looking at myself a little bit later in the camera. Okay, now I think Nazdrovia, I think you have to run, right? You uh, want to say bye to everyone? I know. Go. They look like Christmas trees. Oh. Do you want to say bye to everyone? Bye. Today. Можешь пусть пучачка. Что ты надо? Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, off you go. Thanks, bye. Hannah. Bye bye. Sorry, I had to <laughs> after all these sneezes. Um bye bye bye. <laughs> uh so let's turn the camera around, guys, because some people are I'm sure here for the project, not for the chatty chats. Will Emily ever pop? Not anymore. She's beautiful though. She's gorgeous girl. Is she here? No, it's Lucas. <laughs> Emily, uh, like even if you, some of you may know, Emily used to have her own YouTube channel. And at some point she asked me, mom, can you delete it for me uh, when she stopped recording? And I said, I will not delete it, but I will hide it. So we have made her uh, YouTube channel invisible for people to check it and find it and whatever, because it's her memories. Uh, so no, she doesn't want to be anymore 
Uh, plus, I'm sure that there could be people watching maybe that know her in the real life, and I don't think she wants to be part of that. Same for Lucas. He's not in my videos. He's not really... Or his hand could be there, or his sweater, or... Um, but no... She's a young adult and yes, and she's deciding for herself. So no, she doesn't want to be on the videos. Nothing like it's nothing more than just being more her own personal beliefs are. She doesn't feel like it, and that's okay. I would not I'd be the last person to force her. So you know, I think it's only fair and square to allow her to decide. Okay, guys, let's turn the camera around. I don't know how, but hopefully. Oh, ha ha ha. Okay. Are we good to go? Nearly there. <clears throat> no, I think it's a little bit uh, dark, Lucas. No, I feel. Guys, can you tell me if you can... Oh, no, it's actually lovely. If you can hear me, see me, if everything is okay. Let's see. This is my... I, I'm actually annoyed by that a little bit. So I may just... Because this is my tablet. I see it. I see myself in it. So one second. Oh, I think I'm going to just go like that. So this way I have everything working. I'm going to go like All right, one second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything is okay. Well, if everything is okay, then that's super awesome. Uh, coffee moved, camera on. Um, I may have it a little bit lower, I think. No, just tiny bit lower, like tiny. Let's see, because it's a small project, so it's quite dark now. I think maybe, Lucas, we could actually uh, have the... This is not dark to you? Well, let's see. No, it's actually maximum. So how about this one? Um, what is it? Oh, you think that this is stopping, is it? Why don't you just try to move these... No, I don't think it makes a difference, to be honest, Lucas. Let's see. Patient of a saint you have to have with me. No, I think... Oh, maybe like that. Actually, no, Lucas, it's good. It's the angle of the tablet that I see. Guys, tell me if... Love the grungy colors. Tell me if you can see it well, because I can see it quite well, actually, now. Um, so you could, uh, you could let me know. What's that? Oh, that's that. I so don't like when I think have things in my... <laughs> um, the only thing is that I could make these lighter. There you go. Maybe that's helpful. Oh, hello from Italy. Yeah, it made it a little bit brighter. So, guys, hello, back again. I just need to have this one. See, it's because of the angle of the of the tablet seems to be but it's actually perfect it's a bit dark all right <laughs> i hope not too dark so this is our project for today our tiny little cute houses i honestly really wanted to make something that would be easy doable that people can really substitute what i'm using and that let me just see one more thing it's the brightness of my tablet no i can't would you believe it that i barely use my tablet no that that won't make a difference lucas so i wanted to say is that um i wanted to make something that is easy, doable, uh, achievable for everyone. And I thought, Marta, do something with the actual rolls. So that's where the idea came. So when you look, these are the tiny little rolls, right? 
but they are just so cute. Maybe Lucas, yes, maybe you can actually, or this one closer. I don't know. Okay. Um, I have been using not many supplies, as you can tell. We have rolls, we have background color, which is some of the rice papers. I have here those are, I think that brand, what you call this brand? It's the oh, um, but, 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 but I can't remember the name of the brand. I'm sure some of you will remember now. Uh, La Blanche, yes, La Blanche. So uh, I just wanted to have some background that it's going to be grungy and beautiful. However, for this project, I'm going to try to see if I can actually have the some kind of uh, different colors for different butterflies. So we shall see. So for the background, truthfully, you can use whatever you have. Like it's a straightforward project. But the thing is that I, I really wanted to make sure that this is a project that will really bring people uh, from not not being creative. So if any of you felt for the past months that you have been not creating creative or you don't know what to create, this is a perfect project, I think. Those rice papers are La Blanche. I don't have a link, but if you Google La Blanche, it's easy to find them. Um, I honestly have shopped for the La Blanche papers myself after seeing seeing someone and then i had this as a gift from la blanche themselves they said oh there you go then they sent it to me i haven't used it yet but look they are gorgeous so would you like me to make a video with some of these papers um because they are amazing like imagine some journal page to be done with it these are spectacular actually Actually, I should I should exactly show you the front and the back because the back is equally gorgeous. So what would we make? Would we make like a journal page or would we make like a beautiful canvas, a vintage sort of canvas? I think beautiful, right? Uh, and I was lucky because they shipped it to me. So that means I have probably a full collection, I'm guessing, because when I ordered for the very first time, uh, most of the papers were gone sold out and these are some of the rice papers as well from that collection uh the oh you see the name of the there you go have a look at the sh uh, shop that eu so that's the name very easy to find and i don't think they are available elsewhere as an it's it's usually from their website i don't think if they ship worldwide or what's going on i i believe they do they must have yeah, those are gorgeous papers, I have to say. And I also was gifted those little paper strips and as well uh, those elements, which are, I find them so beautiful. The creative elements. Maybe I'm going to move these aside so we can have a little bit of a look. So some, some books, some chairs. Uh, tell me, do you know this brand? How many of you blurry can't see the writing? Okay. Well, uh, I'm sure you, someone can can uh, shop La Blanche. If you, if any of you can actually uh, put the link, that would be sorry, that would be amazing. Please, uh, of that uh, to to their shop. I'll um, and same for the YouTube, I think, and same for the Instagram. They're not a huge company. I think they are Germany, but don't quote me on that. I think that's my guess. Can't remember. Um, or maybe either way, Europe. <laughs> Do you know this brand? I wonder how many of you actually knows this brand. Some gorgeous elements, like for some canvas, plenty of books, or some beautiful journal page. They are beautiful. I agree. Let me just refresh that. Oh, wow. I just refreshed and just could see how many, only now I can see how many likes is up. I Because I, because I didn't refresh my own uh, video, I, I could see 51 still. And I can see there's 216. Oh, thank you so much for the likes. That's so cute. I ordered from La Blanche several times. She's from Germany. Yes, there you go. 
so that's that that's that let's let's move this because i won't be using these but i just wanted you to see it because they are very pretty and i was in love the moment i saw it and i was very happy when uh, la blanche sent these to me as a gift without expecting me to use it or whatsoever but i'm happy to show it and hopefully use it right we we could make some beautiful canvas uh, so what I have used as my butterflies, I use the books, collage books that I'm obsessed recently, and I'm serious. Um, I have, I'm going to show you, because it's it's like an obsession for sure. I have this many collage books of this brand from Amazon. They are so beautiful. And a lot of, I know that these are IE images, and I know there's a lot of fuss about it around. I know people are having different opinions. Uh, some people are against it or um, there are some campaigns against it overall and everything. I'll be honest, my opinion is I love these books because it's not only this brand, but the whole collage uh, world, a lot of um, even these like, if you think that someone have painted this by hand, I don't think. This is also IE. Everything image-wise, image it's IE. Unless I'm very much wrong, and I'm just going to say that... Unless I'm wrong. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. I think these are also created by IE. And I'm okay with that. Me, personally... Although I'm artist, I paint, I draw by hand, I do stuff by myself. I completely adore images of this kind. I love play like this. I love the beauty behind those images, even though they are IE. Again, people have all their opinions and they everyone is entitled to their own. Uh, artists will still be valid. Artists are still be important, and I hope that won't change. But I don't think I will be stopped either way. So take it or leave it. What your choice? I love it. Like if you ask me, all these images, like this one of my favorite would be the insects book, which we're gonna use today. Uh, by you know, like if it, it's everyone's opinion, but I just love it. I think the images are just, wow, IE. IE means that these are created by artificial intelligence. So basically, it's not that artists have painted it. It's the computer that is doing it. So um, world has changed. And you know what? When I started checking the previous uh, collections of scrapbook papers for the past years, I think IE was in our homes, in the scrapbook collections, for many, many years before we ever knew about it. I think so. Truthfully, I believe that, that there was just uh, things people didn't speak up out loud. They People didn't share about it. Because if I go back to some of my favorite images, favorite collections, I start thinking, wow, this looks like AI. Wow, this also looks the same. Wow, this is like, truthfully. Um, so I stopped having, um, having second thoughts about it because... Um, we have been uh, using IE images for years and years unknowingly, you know. Those books are in Amazon. And if you would decide to purchase at all, I would love you to use my link because I do get a percentage from Amazon, which is tiny because Amazon um, cookies are only one day, I think. One day, like some people, when you affiliate with them, you have 30 days. If someone purchases within 30 days, um, you get the percentage. With Amazon, it's completely different. It's like, it's. I think the cookies are valid for a day only. But still, if, if you decide by any way to use my link uh, to those books, I would be so happy because uh, there is a chance I would get some small commission. Plus, um, I would love to support this uh, those artists because I I stand, well, artists, creators, I don't think they're artists that much themselves. They are more um, graphic designers, which I also love this part, uh, you know, um, I don't know what's your thoughts about IE images. I, I would love to hear, you know, Oh, exactly. A lot of calendars for years have IE. Exactly. Amazing what is possible with IE. Yes, artificial. And like, what's your thoughts? Honestly, guys, are you against it or you're not? Because when I hear that people are against it, like, I get it. I understand the 
the danger of it for life, for the world in general. I not necessarily see the danger for the uh, for the projects, for the images, and also they say it's a stolen work because I think I'm guessing because I didn't read too much about it because I don't do it myself, so I don't have that much knowledge. But I think the AI basically it's like they create from hundreds and thousands of online stuff and create their own. So it's not that it's I don't think it's like pure, pure per se stolen because uh, they are just created. Like you, you know, when you put in the mix into one bag stuff, and you like mix it like in the in the in the bag, something will come up, and that's that's the mixture of different things. So I don't know, I don't know, guys, your thoughts. Honestly, I'm all ears. I would love to hear. I think IE generated images is just different kind of art. Yes. Uh, Kate Carey, yes, she uh, she is uh, two of them. It's Kate Carey and Poor Toast, which is the, also the other person behind it. The Poor Toast has this one is Poor Toast, actually. Am I right? Um, yes, the Poor Toast. His um, collage book. He is himself. It, they are together, basically. If you thinking these, they are together. The Poor Toast is together i prefer the um those books which are kate carries indeed but that's just my personal liking everyone is different right so you have you have you can see even the resemblance that they are the same sort of way so you have kate curry or you have poor toast poor toast has different sort of uh, images different style of the, his books and she has different style of books but i love them both and um i know them both uh, i speak more often with poor toast actually and i'll honestly wanted to use their books because i i've i've had loads of college books you know it like for many, I, I think I started one, I believe that I have been one of those who started really pro, uh, promoting college books into their art journaling practice because college books before uh, were for collage per se. So no mediums, just paper cuts. Uh, like, you know, do you remember? This was one of the first, right? And people would be using those images to create a collage of this kind. However, when I discovered this book, whoa, sorry, <laughs> my tablet, my tablet just flew away from, uh, when I have discovered uh, this book, uh, they were not used for anything more than just paper craft. Um, and this was the artist that still is the artist that is behind creating amazing, compositions paper compositions right and then I started introducing myself these books into the world and into art journaling into mixed media and then the, I think the whole thing just started exploding and everyone is making those books now so I don't mind and that's awesome how many of you uh, remember how many of you remember that I have introduced these books, you know, with images, vintage images and all. So I I think that I also have introduced these, um, which are beautiful, the vintage ones, right? However, I have to say that the moment I saw these books, I just loved the quality, the size of size of images i thought i heard hannah one second let me read potential to be dangerous one second uh there is plenty of copyright free images to use they don't need to steal images from artists but you see i have never seen my images being stolen in the books but i've seen however being my my videos being ripped off to different uh, social media websites for people to promoting their own shops i take that as a pure uh, you know, this is stealing to me. If someone is taking elements from image to create different image from different, it's the same with the. I I just I just don't see. I just don't see this as. Uh, I, I like I don't recognize that much. I think things are inspired in in the I, IE community. Um, but I don't know. I think has potential to be dangerous in the type of art. Weren't we encouraged to create digitally by Photoshop. Exactly. 
Adobe Craft Artist, other digital. Exactly. I don't see a problem as long as they cop don't copy, replicate people. No, the problem is now with IE. I think once you are creating an IE, the images that you create yourself, they are staying there. So if you really think about it, I tell you now, I have seen IE imaging moved from books to books, from even scrapbook papers to even if I will look like here, I'm telling you, I'm going to find the image that I previously have seen in scrapbook paper, 100%. Let me just have a look. So, like this one. I've seen this image before, 100%. But it doesn't mean... Um, what I'm trying to say is that for same for this Robin, like the shape of it and all. What I'm trying to say is that even scrapbook papers have been using IE for many years, but they never said to us. Nobody have mentioned it uh, that it's not hand painted by art artists. It's actually created not not by um, tablet. Uh, like I have a tablet and a biro for it to draw, which is very difficult for me to do. I never did it. I I wish to learn it, but. I, it's not that it's re really hand, you know, created. No, if you look at the scrapbook paper, if you really look closely, for many years they are graphic, digitally created, not hand painted, 90%. There's rarely a collection being hand painted. Like if you look at my art technique, this is hand painted completely, you know. Uh, but what I wanted to say as well, because I don't want to, um, I don't want to uh, sort of have any. Um, how can I say? I uh, look. It's just the way as things are these days, and we can we can try to fight it. We can try. Like I don't think it's pa even possible these days to fight stuff like this, because this has been happening for many years. You know. For many, many years, a lot of these images I've seen before in scrapbook world, which is upsetting in a way because I feel violated by, by somehow that nobody have mentioned that for years. If you look at your paper collections, have a look at them. These images are beautiful. Many images can sky the limit. If you pay for the digital file or get reality free to create stuff, it's amazing. There is some great stuff now. I'm not against it. I feel it should always stay that it is I. I heard they are making show photos as I generated some software. It's a start. The images are beautiful. I think these books are great. They are simply another tool for us. Exactly. I agree. It's a tool. When you take a magazine photo to collage in your art, it's not stealing either. I have mixed feelings using I by integrating pieces into bigger pieces, fine, but using all I or replacing the people. No, I, f I don't want a replacing people, but it's the same with the robots. Like, what are the chances that robots are not going to be, uh, like, I don't think we are able to stop the world. So by bashing books like this, I don't want to. It makes me happy. I love them truly. I, I uh, Someone can say, oh, you promote IE. But I'm telling you, check your scrapbook papers if they're not IE, but nobody have said it. I have thousands of images from my craft studio that they were well different. I've seen some of those images. I have scrapbook paper, some of very big names such as Prima. Sorry, Paula. I, I have thousands of images from my craft studio that were well different. I've seen some of those images I have in scrapbook paper by some. Exactly. Are you trying to say that some big names have used the same images before? Is it? Am I understanding English correctly? There are differences between digital and IE art. I think many don't recognize the difference between the two. Uh, pictures have been photoshopped in books and on scrapbook papers for a very long time. Exactly. Well, I have to say that maybe I was a fool because for many years I was hoping it's hand painted. Exactly. Well, that's what I'm. That that's it, someone uh, in Polish is saying that producers of papers have been using those uh, graphics for many years, but nobody's saying it. Yes, big names are using royalty-free stuff and make it their own. Exactly. So I'm trying to say that before we call out anything, have a look in the past because until I saw uh, these books and many other books, I thought. That scrapbook papers are genuinely hand painted by the names of the designer that is down there. That there is written whatever. I don't want to put, put, put names, no. But there is a designed by. And I thought for many years that designed by means hand painted. 
And I was thinking, I'm not that talented to paint all these gorgeousness images, you know. And only when I realized that what's IE, like those books, are one of the on, one of few examples. Uh, I show you what's the difference. These are not IE, right? I'm guessing. Uh, oh, sorry, AI. Emily is here. AI. What do I say? IE. Well, I say Polish version. These are also Amazon books, but these are real doors. These are photos of this lady. I'm guessing. I didn't read that because I'm last person to read. But my guess is she have taken all these photos by herself, right? Which these are beautiful as well, but they are created differently. And some of them look e extremely like hand painted, let's say like watercolor painted, like this one is watercolor painted, right? So what I'm trying to say is that for many years, I had been sure that when I see beautiful collections of papers, I am a fool, I can tell you this now easily. But for many years, I thought that making that th those people are so talented and making those beautiful scrapbook papers from scratch, which now I learned that we have been light for many, many years. I'm sorry for saying that. Uh, maybe uh, we are on the live stream. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this out loud, but it's true. And it's upsetting because I was caught in it, in that thought, uh, you know, that someone have been... Or maybe it's my imagination thinking, but I thought designed by always have meant for the scrapbook community that that they, they are just so talented that they're making those images. What a crap. They have been buying all these things from different people that they weren't either designers. They were also creating those digitally for years. So it's just such a, a unfair judgments as well in that community for that papers scrapbook kind of ideas let me read your comments it's exactly big names is really it's called copyright free clip art okay copyright free those are th that's another little subject but part of it just old-fashioned that i like things that are more raw made by against not against i can be brilliant tool for many no they just collect images and mash together into a paper exactly paula uh craft fairy provide loads of reality free yes she does i saw that web i know that website but you see again i didn't i could come up with all these but i just didn't want to because i really wanted to put a thought into stuff you know um and really really create something that even if i haven't hand painted at least it's really uniquely <laughs> done or something um as I said, I'm not going to be mentioning any names because I'm not to bash anyone. Everyone's mo morals are what they are. Someone can say, and I read comments under my videos using these amazing books that oh, how come you can support uh, AE? AE? Emily? AI. AI. Uh, I do because I just love these images. They are well put together. They're well uh, thought through. They are gorgeous, pretty. They make my projects amazing. So... You know, why not? Let me show you. Uh, like, these are from the books. I love that project. It's phenomenal, you know. Well, okay. Uh, in the 90s, they were using World Perfect and other programs. And now we are calling it artificial. So the robot is doing the coding, not the programmer. Yeah, well, I just joined. Hello. Okay, so now they were using World Word. Yeah, Marta, I love you. What a load, load of crap. <laughs> Welcome to the just joining. Uh, it is just another tool. I agree. You know, uh, I think what makes me the most uh, weird in the situation is when I see scrapbook community creating papers that are so alike from one to another that sometimes it's close to impossible to mention what's the, uh, the brand because they are so alike and that's what was making me upset and for the past uh, years that sometimes you could see exactly the same images being purchased 
from uh, graphic designer pages, you know, and one year I could see it in one brand to see the same images three years later in the different collections. So, you know, and I stand for these little books because I love how for the price, um, I love the amount of choices that it's there, right? And I know you're going to say, Marta, but this is so unfair that they have, where's that gorgeous one that I've used? Um, like in the in the butterfly world, let me see. Or this one. I even said it to, to them that, guys, we need these mushrooms. Uh, I spoke with Portos because I said, these are so beautiful, you know. This is such a gorgeous uh, selection of papers on that side. And some people are upset about these books and saying, oh, why do they put it? Well, there was a choice, I'm guessing, right? They could put one pretty page and then could they could put, let's say, a blank there's no blanks let's say the blank of this kind right but then if you think twice I'm glad that they didn't put a blank in there because what if I don't like none of that but I love something here so by having printed on that side instead of thinking that it's a shame it is a shame but what if someone doesn't like these images won't ever use them but have a chance to use something from that side unless you're really in love with some book like the mushroom book i would buy another one for sure because i love it so much and one more that is so crazy beautiful it's this one i love it so much and i'm sure i'm gonna re rebuy the the gnome i love it as well and i love the i love the birds but i love also the this one the butterfly one right i'll show you sorry i i got all all of chatty about that all the comments has made me love you even more it feels like we are all in your craft room with you oh <laughs> you were in my craft room guys none of the names i'm bashing i just want to say there are some amazing designers that collect images arrange them into beautiful paper collections but some ones did paint them someone wants to paint them no some of them no they, they they weren't painted paula that's the thing i always thought it was painted but a lot of them weren't years back yes but years back yes but not anymore like i rarely see them hand paint rarely see them hand painted uh, papers I, I it's easy now to even recognize um and i i didn't mean uh, paula anything that you have mentioned the names not at all uh, I don't think I'm just, uh, they just recycle the popular stuff that's free. I've seen loads times again and again because collected digital, not being talented enough to paint. I'm not talented enough. That's why I don't put so, uh, put those many collections, you know, to be honest. Um, you do you, whatever makes you happy makes great. And that makes your followers happy too. I would have to buy two books. Yes, I'm the same. I'm the same on that. Another one has ability to draw. And that's okay. I think I was just more saying that uh, I was in the wrong or maybe I was just uh, naive. And I am naive because I always believe in good and I always see good and I don't re question stuff. So I was naive for many, many years thinking that a lot of these uh, scrapbook collections were hand painted, which in the reality they weren't. And that's okay. I have nothing, nothing against that, you know let me just show you this same for that for example um let's say for example will i use some of these possibly not necessarily this page but i would love to use this page so i think i love like i mean seriously guys get yourself the the mm, the insect book the butterfly one it's look at it i'm going to show it to you because it is my favorite uh, I, I, ab I absolutely love the sides. There's lots of bees, which is great, but the box part, the, the butterflies, I just love it so much, honestly. Kind of off topic. I haven't watched you in some time, but I was thinking of you this morning and I then I got emailed that you free class. Oh, welcome. So <laughs> I would scan a copy to say, yes, you could do that as well. 
the book used today is listed, but you can use that listing to find the rest. Yes, if you could use the other, uh, use my links, that's amazing, I have to say. So here are the beautiful butterflies. I have suggested to them to make bigger elements now because that, uh, like this size as well. I love that size. I love the whole, like, look, it's so gorgeous page on its own, right? Look at these beautiful butterflies. I love the size of it, truly. They just, and what I love about these books is that a lot of times I purchased books in the past, seriously, half of the images I would not use. They would just not be nice, not, not pretty enough or something. Or I just felt that, like, I feel with these books, and I mean it, they bring a lot of value inside. Like, it's a lot of amazing images, if not one side, uh, then another, like the backgrounds. Look, look, the backgrounds. They are just pretty. Actually, I will show you the page that I will have on the channel soon if I can find it. Oh, there we go. We're going to have that soon on the channel so I can show you the sneak peek. And that was, I think, made from the Gnome Emphera, which I love so much. Um, no, thank you for the snail. Too many in my garden. <laughs> I don't know what you do without some of the reality free stuff. I have zero talent, but loads enthusiasm. Well, that's the main thing if you have enthusiasm, right? Uh, so, yes, let's move on from the books because I didn't want to. And this one, The Cute Christmas Unfair, it's one of my favorites from the Christmas collection. I've used uh, that for those uh, pages. Uh, one second. Oh, those pages, actually. This one, no, but this one. I think it's from here and I actually haven't posted this one. It meant to be for members, but my time got away from my hands. I hopefully I'll post it still for the members' collage page. I uh, love the dragons. Okay, I have a messy mess on the table, but I just wanted to say that this particular one, it's gorgeous. I know that they're working on St. Patrick's uh, teams, um, spring, Easter. I'm sure there are books coming. And truly, I love them, and I'm and I'm honest about it. And uh, I I really think they're worth their price. And I love the quality of color, quality of paper, the thickness for collages is just fun, fabulous. Okay, notification. I love the dragon. Love the one only pink things. Oh yes, I I seen it. I don't have it, but I've seen it. Yes. Okay, let's move on, guys. Enough of that chat. Hello, hello. Uh, and oh, I've used as well these. I couldn't find the big chat on Amazon anymore. So I have the link for, in general, stickers for uh, for for Tim. But I'm pretty sure you have a lot of um, similar stickers. But if you fancy getting something, then there you go. I'm going to put this aside. And you know what? I have one as well favor to ask you. If you are on Amazon, if any of you have purchased these books and you love it, why don't you leave them maybe a review? If you love it, well, if you don't love it, you can also leave, <laughs> leave the review. But I think everyone is waiting for the good uh, um, reviews <laughs> but still I think even if you wish to just put some stars on the, the books that you purchased because I don't I don't uh, see many reviews and I hear so many of you purchase these books so that would be fantastic my collection is growing and it will be growing and I just whoops love it let me just not shake the camera oh look at it <laughs> this is insane like I love them all as well. And it's like very difficult to to love which more. And I love how mix and matchy they are, that you can actually really mix a lot of different books. I like that idea. Okay, let's move on. I also use these chipboards, these chipboards. This is Snippart from Poland. I have them for many years, those cocks, clocks, whatever that is, uh, Snippart. But again, I'm sure that um, you may have some sort of elements of this kind. But just if you're curious, that's that. And that's it. And the, 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 the rice paper. So... I'll see which rice paper. So we're starting, of course, by pressing our uh, pressing our toilet paper rolls into flat surface, and we will decide about the size of the houses as well. Which one is your favorite? Which are your favorites? Which uh, which 
which I really would truly purchase books, you mean? Uh, which are my favorite. Have to had to leave for a minute, granddaughter. Oh, I appreciate your point of view. I think everyone's entitled to their own opinion about it. N absolutely. But I think uh, I think there is room for everyone in the world, truly. I, I'll tell you, Helen, in a second. Let me just finish that thought. I think there is room for everyone. There is room for watercolor artists. There is room for digital painters. There is room for graphic designers. There is room for scrapbook community uh, papers. There is room for collage. There is room for vintage elements from many years ago, from old books. There is room for everyone, Hello. I think. Hello, Hannah. <laughs> What's that? Uh, marshmallows. Marshmallows. Toothpicks. Toothpicks. So I d do believe that uh, I wouldn't like to be uh, restricted uh, be in in the in what I use just because of um, well beliefs are very important. But in this case, I I think I would like to see as well what's harmful, what's not, what's moral, what's not. So tr truthfully, I feel happy what i if i see something and i love i'll take it i don't support indeed websites like wish or aliexpress if they buy, uh, sell copies of stencils stamps uh, scrapbook papers rarely but stencils and stamps completely against that if you know that you're purchasing a ripoff and you know it it's bad if you purchase it because we have to support small creators. There is no doubt about it. If you purchase it unknowingly, that's okay. Like we, we it's impossible to know all the designs, right? If you knowingly purchase always the knockoffs, worse quality or worse imagery or this, it's everyone's choice. I don't uh, support these websites. I try to not to mention them. I try not to. But again. Uh, like everyone heard of those everyone have been on those at least once uh, I have ordered like my one of my favorite watercolor brushes which is this one and one second guys because I think it's important as well is that the same it is uh, one of my most favorite uh, watercolor brush set was from was from AliExpress, I think, right? It's this one. Uh, and I haven't seen this uh, being produced in any other brand. So, and I checked it. I looked purposely for this look on the brushes for this set and everything. I haven't found it. So I did purchase it from China website. Then again, a lot of prof professional brands are produced in China, right? It's no secret either. It's it's just the the ethos behind those who steal designs from those who really work hard. Like Tim Holtz would have his very own unique style and his very own unique uh, products, um, stamps and stuff. Um, and many other. So I don't agree if someone is... If someone is uh, but buying this kind you know but this i did purchase in china and i think they are so amazing they were so amazing i still use this brush i purchased it for this brush in particular i tried to find a, a source it elsewhere i couldn't there isn't anything of this sort so um so that's my point of view you know their place. I have so much stuff I want to try. Appreciate their individual talents. Yes. Wouldn't it be fun to make different sizes out of cutting paper towel rolls into different sizes? Yes. I wonder if it's really up to us crafters to be aware of the rules and laws and matters. The responsibility must be on the publisher editors. That's true as well. Personally, can't be aware of every rule and law. Absolutely. I completely agree on you on that. It's like as if like I don't follow brands these days completely. And I stopped following the moment I stepped from design teams. So how many years ago, guys, that was? That could be probably like... Um, 
maybe f- six, seven years ago, I stopped being on design teams. So I stopped following trends, seeing what's new on the market. I rarely have been shopping as well because I try to not to buy every single new collection out there because I've no, I simply have no room. I can't. I do cooperate with brands. Sometimes I have stuff sent uh, for free. People think I have sent for free more than I do. It's not true. Like, for years and years, I have been hoarding buying like yourself, especially since I don't do design team work. But I don't know what's out there every day. I don't check what is like I'm curious about new color of Tim Holtz, but I can't afford to buy a new color every time. Like I actually showed it to Lucas. It's so funny. Let me show you. I showed it to Lucas, right? The labels for Tim Holtz. Um, because he was helping me to stick some of the some of the labels on the ink pads. Look how many ink pads I'm missing. I never got any ink pads from team. Like people would think it's not like it doesn't work like that. So I have been collecting the, those myself. I think I had one color sent by some angel from Amazon. A girl have purchased it as a gift through Amazon and sent me the whole collection of Kitsch Flamingo. I think that was the new color. Or speckled egg. Can't remember. One of these uh, I had been sent by one of you guys, actually. And the whole collection with the ink pad, with the refiler, refiller and everything, right? But I'm trying to say is that like it's impossible to, for me to have every color because A, I don't use that many or I may not. B, uh, I can't afford basically you know i have what i like maybe what i can sometimes purchase same for the trends like it's not possible to know um of what's there so i don't blame those who accidentally purchase a ripoff as well i can understand that from those sides apps i did purchase dashes as i have i purchased some uh, uh, watercolor paper as well for trial what else i purchased oh i purchased this for example but again, it's something that nobody else does. So these were the empty clear palettes I purchased from uh, Wish, no, from AliExpress. So you can put your colors in there and cover it like that. So I purchased this and I purchased smaller as well. But I don't recommend it because Hannah put a lot of water inside, sprayed. And look, the color was really going in between the grooves of here. So I don't even recommend that much. I purchased it. I checked it. I have it. And that's about it. <laughs> you know, that's what I purchased from uh, China. But uh, it's okay as well to sometimes buy it there in terms of like, why do we feel so ashamed uh, the whole uh, school where Emily goes, everyone she knows is shopping clothes as well. All the teenager girls are shopping in in um, in Wish, is it in that website? No, in Shein. Like it's impossible to nearly stop the teens, you know, from purchasing the in the fast industry clothing. It's the same with the craft. So. Oh, what a chatter I am. I'm so sorry, guys, for all of that. We're not even doing craft. It's like an hour and a half. I'm so sorry. His latest colors is the last distress color. It's a great dark brown. I saw that, yes. I followed that a little bit, the colors. I would love to have all, all of these. Like, if, if I, I would love to have this collection. I don't, and I'm okay with that, you know. I'm okay with that. Uh, I, I eventually <laughs> will get it, you know. I eventually will get it. Uh, so as you can tell, like I'm missing a lot. Some people have all the colors, all the sprays, all the inks, whether they oxides or regular inks. And, you know, everyone's loving different things. And some people follow more, some less. As a technical computer person, there are images that have been created by an artist who is using a digital computer program to create their own unique art. Yes, that's too. <laughs> Let's get crafting. Exactly. Are you going to show us the art, please? Yes. I love the talk. Well, there you go. Some people love the talk. Some people <laughs> wish to have less talk. I think, uh, truthfully, the talk is who I am in a way. So I somehow, that's who I am a little bit. Okay, we need some some scissors for the sizes of our. Now, you prefer the talk as well or you prefer just the project? Tell me, tell me. Love the talk, ready to craft. <laughs> The talk is why I'm here. I hope a little bit. I'm enjoying the chats and have missed everyone loads. Oh, both. 
Ito, Ito. Oh, I love it. Okay, um, let's try to have our houses cut um, and let's put this in the middle. So three and a half, something like that. And let's say I'm going to have, mm -hmm. let's say uh, we're going to have, we are going to have, this one going to be the smallest ha house. So this is going to be the smallest. So three and a half here around. And let's say we have it a line going here. And I'm going to count how much is here, which is, what is it? Let's say four and a six. Uh, we don't have to be that precise. Four and a half, rough, roughly. There we go. And the first house is going to be pretty much ready. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> it's been a while since we had a catch-up. Yes, a lot of has been happening. There's also a lot of happening in the watercolor community as well about uh, professional or not so professional watercolor paints. I have been looking at that uh, at that subject a little bit to be honest in amazement of what's going on you know no shame in getting products from brands especially since in order to get free products you had to have a lot of supplies to create the content that gets you those free this yes it's true it's very true actually and as well if you don't know like when I started YouTube channel uh, YouTube channel uh, didn't pay for I haven't made a penny for the first three or four years of having a YouTube channel. Is it? Or am I exaggerating? Maybe two years, right? For free content. Hello, Tina. And then as well, what happened is that when, when I joined the... Uh, let's make another house while I chat. When I when I joined to be in the in the community of YouTube to 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 start making money on my videos, uh, I was to be eligible. That's what it's called. I was eligible, but most of my videos weren't. <laughs> so, uh, to be honest, I couldn't even um, make enough money to have seventy euro, which is red, let's say around seventy dollars. Uh, being paid to my account because they weren't making enough and they wouldn't pay anything under 70 so it took me quite few I think two months to get into that first 70 for a month six uh, so and yeah and of course I have been ma making content for many years for free videos and all where people would charge for the videos uh, actually my question to you is if I would create an online class dedicated proper without chats of this sort proper online class with the supply list with the uh with the um proper kind of technical things not that my videos are not proper but sometimes chat is taking over the project let's say but would you would you would you be willing to purchase online class let's say a an old style mixed media canvas from me or something like that. Because I don't think that my channel, uh, that people here wish to see these videos because they, 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 they don't click anymore. So I'd stop doing them as well and I less sort of feel for them. But even recently, Lucas, when I was checking something, Lucas said, why don't you make those anymore? And I said, I don't know. I don't know. And I just thought... Maybe if I make an online class, uh, affordable online class, that would be having a completely different type of projects for only those who are really interested. I don't know. Would you? Um, but obviously it would be like for something, I don't know, let's say Fiverr or Tenor, a class or something like that. I don't know if that's something people would be interested in. Uh, I'm curious like I always have been <laughs> making videos for years and years right uh, I've done classes with kids but I think I'm past that <laughs> past that to be honest oh you would like that you think oh I want chatty videos I guess this is what the membership is for. yes <laughs> the, no the membership is I had to be honest uh, juggling between two channels and the membership as well had been a little bit uh, difficult recently um, because like yeah because of the Instagram as well Christmas season everything was just all over the place and 
I just stopped stressing myself about it because I feel that I passed this moment where I think to myself, it's okay, Marta, you know, one second, because I feel that I, something in between, it's okay, don't stress over stuff, Marta, it's okay, so I stopped stressing myself uh, over things, and I just do my best if I can, what I can do best, I will do my best, that kind of way I see it, you know, so sometimes members would get videos, not necessarily the one that we agreed on, like a vlog, even though they have signed up for no videos, they get a vlog or they signed up for uh, for live class, they get a regular class. So it's different. I, I, I try to <laughs> shuffle a, a little bit around, to be honest, uh, three and a half. I'm trying to make these houses a little bit different each, but again, don't worry if they're the same. Marta, if private class is a small could manage your lives. Oh, uh, one second. Yes, online class. And I love your chat and your craft. Oh, Yannick, I missed you. Haven't been here that much. Exactly. That's why I said I've missed you because I haven't seen you. You know, life work. But I try to see you from time to time. Oh, yes, yes. We pay for a class. Online class would be so cool. Marta, if, a, if private class is small, you could make a Zoom. Relaxing to watch and listen to you. Um, I, I've promised a Zoom for the members. Do you remember? <laughs> But I think I, I remember when um, Sue said, Marta, you can only do your best and don't worry. Like, stop stressing yourself just because you promised something. So I no longer try to promise things. I try to do my best, you know, like what I can do and deliver and make others happy if possible. There is apparently wonderful watercolor paper from China called Bab Guma Master's Choice. So why don't don't like uh, so while I don't like Fong Dong they are totally watercolor artists check Michael Soli okay I'll take a photo of that comment so I can check it later on because uh, I may forget okay I'll check that thank you for letting me know I'll check that I have uh, to be checked I have the arches uh, two of them cold press and warm uh, and hot press I don't know them yet never check them I will be checking them um yeah you like classes oh well if i will have classes they will be on my on my uh online store i just think that from time to time maybe it would be nice i don't know i just thought about the class that you know people uh, maybe maybe on the channel that it's not necessarily for the channel but maybe it would be amazing for how come I have a feeling that this is way bigger? Do you know what? I'm going to try it and make one more. I think my rolls were bigger. Oh, yes, because that was a kitchen toilet roll. Silly you, Marta. That was a kitchen roll. Am I right? I think so. <laughs> That's why it's so big. I think so. Lucas, do you think you could actually go to that bag with rolls and have a sneak peek if there is any to uh, kitchen roll? So I could make a bigger house? I don't know. I could make smaller too. I don't mind. I love arches. What I call my favorite. Oh, very good. I didn't know that. I haven't checked it just yet. So I will. I'm sure I will at some point. Let's grab some brushes. Let's grab some mixed media brushes. I love. I have been gifted these uh, Art by Marlene Studio Light brushes. I love them for the mixed media work. Love, love, love. I also... Love this one. I also had this as a gift, I think, from Aida. Am I right? Um, and I love, love, love this one for its Royal and Lagian skill. So we're going to do white. Uh, but before that, I need some water. Uh, dum, dum, dum. Guys, thank you so much for still watching after all these zilliards of chats. You are still here, guys. Thank you. And tell me, maybe you could tell me what is that? Uh, okay, thanks, Lucas. Lucas is thinking that I need food. So he brought me some food. Thank you. We'll eat it together, guys. Something healthy. Uh, Lucas, uh, you could have a peek, please, upstairs on that big bag of toilet rolls from our neighborhood. <laughs> There should be some kitchen roll. Uh, tell me what's uh, recently, uh, what did you buy recently? Um, 
uh, like a favorite product or product you always dreamed or maybe brand new product i think there is one product from we are uh, memory keepers uh, from uh, to make like like a windows it's like this machine that cuts out like windows like um not windows but it catches like a poach with windows i would like that funny husband's just walking with a sandwich <laughs> Great minds think think alike. Online class. Remember, you had a course through Susan Tucker in October. <sighs> we did. Yes. Yeah, I I have mentioned that the whole estate was collecting to to toilet rolls, and st they still do ask me, Marta. I don't know if you still need them, but I have my mom has it as well and brought them to you. So I do collect them because I think I'm I'm about to make some huge project. Like I'm telling you, imagine toilet paper roll house. Like, I'm not talking this house. I'm talking, like, connect thousands of rolls into a big house for Hannah. <laughs> the collection of the new distress colors. Oh, lovely. I, ha uh, I had the... Uh, you had a course through Susan Tucker in the... Online course. Well, that was it, isn't it? <gasps> oh, my. I remember now because I have suggested her because I've done life class as in I went to UK to for Sue. And because it was COVID, I suggested her, why don't you have an online course? Yes, I remember that project. Oh, my. It was such a gorgeous co collage. Let me. Oh, you just reminded me about it. Where is that book that this collage could be in? Oh, what a pity that I can't remember. Or do I? One second. No. Hmm. What a shame I can't remember where, where I made it. It was such a beautiful project, actually, as well. Let's see if I have it here. No, that's Hannah's book. Oh. Oh, my heart be still. I found the group on Facebook. I would love to try Lindy's press. Anyone experience with them? Oh, I'm, I've used Lindy's for years and years and loved it so much. Okay, one second. I'm trying to find that course, that online project that I did. You're very right. I forgot about that completely. Okay, so in one of those books, but of course I can't remember in which one. I know it's the big book, actually. It is the big book. Am I right? A four size book. One second. <clears throat> it is. If I could only find that book. I left you guys purposely, but oh, I, I think I have it. Yes, I have it. No way, guys. Sorry. I think it's this project you're talking about. Am I right? This one. Not this one. This one. Um, I bought some cutting dye stickers in watercolor recently. Oh, last brand I think I got was some of Lindy's embossing powders. Yes, yes, yes. A collection of tutorials to buy outright would be great. I had a color laser printer, which one did I have trillion. Yes, that one. Yes, I remember. It's so beautiful. <gasps> Thank you for reminding me. Maybe I'll make some similar online class of this one. Oh, do you want to see my... I'll show you. I'll show you the collection of my rolls, guys. Watch out. Be ready. And I'm serious. Like, it's a big, big bag. See if you can find the... Oh, there you go. Thank you, Lucas. Like, we're talking, there's probably hundreds of um, of books right now, of uh, toilet rolls right now there because of, um, <laughs> of my beautiful neighbors. I just ordered Art Buy. Art Buy. I love your life classes and your chats and inspiration and engaging. I have learned a lot about your tools. Oh, I love you guys. Moved and had to leave some supplies behind. Oh, 
collecting paper punches again. Love paper crafting. I need to buy new circle punches. I had some gifted as well, but I just basically destroying them somehow by using in the wrong papers or something. I just feel I need to update my circle punches. I updated my my heart one. I love the bag. Yeah, that's a massive art by Marlene. Not one done thing. No, that's okay too. Use what you have, guys. My mini dash hunt still stole my rolls. I know who's dash hunt. I love it because it it's a it's a gorgeous uh, type of a dog. It's this Labrador looking, but it's small. Am I right? Um, I think so. <laughs> I would like to buy that um, tool that makes those um, like window sort of thing. Uh, like a frame kind of it's this tool for cutting paper what else i would like to purchase what i love my metallic watercolors that i recently been using all the time on my other youtube channel especially uh, the brand the mirror effect paints are crazy beautiful the gorgeous liquid gold as well so i love them all like i love these they makes me really happy you know I have a massive buy bag of toilet roll. Don't know why I collected them for months and months. <laughs> Winner dogs. Yes. <sighs> okay, so we have that painted. Lucas is here, actually. He's sitting down, stole my chair because I mostly stand, as you know. He stole my chair and he's... Um... No, it's okay. You can sit, Look. <laughs> I need a coffee, guys. Do you know what? While I paint, you can actually, you bought the scream watercolors and got them accidentally sent to my address because I moved earlier this year. Oops, I hope I hope you got them back. I just wanted to ask you what really, 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 what projects would you like to see on the channel? Like really, truly, guys, I'm here with you live. We can chat, we can discuss what you really are aiming. Every time you, there's a new video, like I know you, some may say, I love all your videos. That's awesome. I thank you. But really, truly, what's the videos that are like, wow, I love it. Yes, yes. What the videos would you like to see in the next months? Like I hear YouTubers leaving, YouTube crafters leaving YouTube because people don't watch it anymore. Same for my videos. Like they have dropped so much the views and everything, but I'm not giving up on you guys. I want. It's my life. I can be a little bit set back just because of life circumstances, but I'm not going anywhere. I just, I can't imagine me going to work elsewhere either, which is a tough one. Sometimes Lucas is threatening me. I'm going to send you there and there to work. I'm like, I am working. Excuse me. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello, Jen. <laughs> uh, our journal purges are always nice to see. Yes. Card key. Well, cards that's a tough one i made although i made winter um pastel cards and they were greatly taken but they were like watercolor mixed media ish cards then i made christmas bubble watercolor cards they were well taken as well but i'm worried that the regular scrapbook cards are no longer in the in the need i don't know work in the wine book yes i actually have to do flip flop of some of the books i've finished them art journal and in frames collage 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 art journaling i still love breaking a blank page barbara i made blank page series brand new couple months ago like tons of new videos seriously it went nowhere people have n nearly ignored it so I, I i was discouraged i'm like I'm not doing that if nobody cares and watch it. Just, you know, like I really want to make things that people will watch, click and enjoy. Truly, you know. Guys, maybe when you are here watching, make sure you like some of the videos. Make sure you comment on some of the videos because otherwise you miss a lot. I think like YouTube will not be giving you notification about new uploads if you ignore the channel. You know, you have to make contact unless you be like some people sometimes comes. Wow, gosh, I found you again. I lost you for so many years. Yes, you lost me because you haven't been in contact with that YouTube channel. You haven't been interacting. So, you know, you got no notifications for years. Aloha. Hello. Canvas, not frames. 
Start journal page of the month, January to December. Start a journal page of the month, January. Our journal of the month. Upcycle things like toilet rolls saved from the trash. I made my first art journal page months ago. Should do another one. Yeah, love and your altered mixed media like boxes. Oh, boxes. That's something I haven't done for years, right? A little bit of shadow box. I like shadow box. I like the shadow box frame as an... Uh, reverse canvas I like that work I must say I have one which will be on the channel soon okay I'll show you of course I'll show you because I always show you the winter one which is also from collage books and I think it's so gorgeous 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 like it is beautiful so that's gonna come soon on the channel um so yes journal pitch soon and uh, the uh, shadow boxy thing the the thing reversed canvas yes got a click that notification bell yes you do please 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 and maybe subscribe to my channel let's hit the 3330 <laughs> i'm stuck with 328 for so long now <laughs> it's actually it's actually so funny the other channel marami simple craft if you don't know i have another channel the other youtube channel is growing beautifully like which this one it's like in the same spot for the months like constantly so i'm thinking what on earth what on earth i'm gonna do what will I start making that will actually be not noticed by people? Do you know, that's my only worry. Uh, I don't know if I'll be... I think I like the small houses somehow as well. I think they're cute. So I, I may leave it as they are. Will I make a second layer? I don't th think we need it, right? Do we need a maybe tiny second layer? Now grab your clear gesso as well now because we will be adding uh, uh, the... Um, rice paper into with the gesso clear gesso and also i wanted to say that if you don't have white gesso right now that's okay you can use white acrylic guys you can mm, use modeling paste just dilute it and paint with that like there are ways guys you know there are ways okay this go to the side oh my luca Cassini. i'm gonna have a sip of coffee friends Oh, thank you so much. My mm, Anya, unfortunately, couldn't be here, but we have Rain, my beautiful moderator. You can see she posted a link to my other YouTube channel. So if you feel like mm, going there and clicking the subscribe button, I would be delighted. And also check the videos. There's so many amazing videos there. So many little shorts, but also awesome videos for paintings, like watercolors for real beginners, like real, 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 real beginners, you know? I love that and let's have a little bit of let's have a do you eat with the skin w Lucas would say this is not a skin I took away the skin but I prefer not to have this um, this skinny bit oh it's yummy thank you Lucas mm. <sighs> Yeah, thank you so much, Rain, for posting the links. <laughs> I love background ideas, mixed media, anything, and art journaling. How many of you is actually still making um, heavy mixed media art altered pieces? Like, I haven't done one for many years now, I feel. Uh, do you still making, like, metal elements... Uh, chipboards added to your heavy projects i wonder maybe i should do it maybe i should be back to it maybe maybe i had enough of rest <laughs> like my old marta my old pieces they were so different for like eight years ago i i miss them i miss those um very unique projects that i've done many years ago this this guy this doll on the canvas like i miss it maybe i'll make some online classes then maybe that's some kind of idea <laughs> you love the fresh me too that would be awesome mix me the awesome the way you do it thank you ron arrange just subscribe thank you so much guys <sighs> I haven't for a while, but still love it. Yes, Jen, you are advocate for um, very much so altered pieces indeed. Love gears and chipboards. Well, I am going to have plenty of chipboards for sale for good prices on my website. So keep checking, guys. 
Uh, and I think we we may be doing some kind of closing sale as in that we're closing the shop, but closing as in some of the stuff will be no longer available in our store. So I'll, I'll promise to give you a heads up as well. Like I like to have time for packing orders and stuff. So we, we will definitely do that soon. Some big sale happening, I hope. <clears throat> okay, a little bit of drying time. Not too much because because it's I was using nearly dry surface of the brush dry thing anyway okay which which of the gorgeousness hmm okay I lost my um sorry I lost my <laughs> uh, rice papers Lucas I think I need hand I think I Lost my rice paper somewhere here in the in the mix. Oopsie. Oh no, I have them. Silly me. Do you sell all, all of your projects? I have a lot uh, on the store and I will have more. Yes, I will be selling my projects indeed because I can't keep them anymore. And a lot of people have been always asking. So yes, a lot of my all, all altered pieces are going to be on the sale still there is few already in the store so check it out uh you dryer you can't hear the dryer at all what brand is it no i think it's the youtube or whatever it's happening first of all it's broken that's why it's half quiet second of all i think while life is happening i think it's muting the sound of the dryer while i have the life i think but in, in case you're wondering, it's the Ranger heated up craft tool. So Ranger, it's a good one. It is quiet indeed, but it's also it's also uh, broken and it's half of the quiet even more. I don't know why something have happened uh, to it. So, but you can hear normal noise. Don't worry. <laughs> it's not that the noise is completely gone. I somehow love this uh, page. And I have a feeling that it would be amazing to have. Oh, imagine. Oh, I have an idea. Look, if we could have one, two, three of these. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I will do that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do that. I love that now. One, two, and three. Actually, what are you currently watching, guys? Is there anything on Netflix that you currently are watching that you would maybe recommend? I'm watching Gossip Girl and I'm watching, with Emily, I'm watching Riverdale as well. And I love it, actually. It's quite weird, but I like it. Birdhouses. Mm, hard to comment when you're painting along with you, but I'm having so much fun. Oh, Dennis, that's so good. Have you ever done paper mache? No, it's so funny you mentioned because I would love to do my own handmade papers. That's something I wish to do this year for sure. More clay and more paper and paper mache as well. That's a good idea. How about making cute small houses out of cardboard decorated table around the Christmas? I get inspiration from all your videos. Do you know what? I'm going to take a, a photo of your comments to remember for the future the paper mache. I think it's a very good idea uh, because I have even here, I'll show you. I'm not joking. I have it under my desk, uh, ready tools and ready clay for videos. I just have another excuse of no time, but I will get there. Like it's in my mind. I would love to do more clay stuff, you know? It's something that I wish wish to do more and more. <clears throat> um, okay, so we have that and we're going to have this. I'm thinking to keep this one still and maybe... Oh, one second, I'll move the... Uh, my, my partner and I were watching old favorites since it's our first time watching of them together. Oh, that's so cute, Laura. Do you make puts houses? Puts houses? What's puts houses? I'm sorry. Puts houses. I don't know what's that. Welcome, everyone, because there's still so many of you here on the channel. Oh, I love this paper as well. In a second, we'll check it. But before that, let me just have a gesso jumping in here. John, it is good. 
Dairy girls. I didn't see that. Uh, do you make pots houses? They're so cute. Pretty li little liars. Don't know that. Post stuff. No. Let me ju just have... If you have any links, guys, share them away in the comments, of course. Um, so I'm adding clear gesso. Eh, quite a generous amount. Now, little birdie gesso, I'm, I I always recommended it, but I don't think it's available. So you can get Prima ones as well. Links to some gessos are in my description if you feel like checking, do. Now, I'm going to just place this one here. There we go. And truthfully, I should probably just do it like this. Make sure that it's something heavy on top or even... You can do hook. One second. Even the books. I just have something on brush in my mouth. So I'm going to put this one here. There we go. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing with the second uh, house. Take a second flower um, little roll. HBO Max, True Detective. Oh, I heard about that. What do you use the cones for after making them? What do you have? What do we use these cones for after making them? Nothing. This is just a honesty decoration. Unless you could put something like the the truth is that I have closed the top part, so you you can't really use them unless you want to stand them and put something. But they are more like a decorative little houses. You could probably put the, make the lid underneath it and have them as a jar. Or something that's a lovely idea actually okay yes shadow boxes reverse canvases that's a good idea no are you actively guys uh, crafting or are you more of a retired crafter tell me do you really craft often enough or or not anymore how how is that for you guys going right now now I'm going to have this one as well. Glue down. So the paper is there. and Because uh, I hear more and more people not crafting that much anymore. You know. So I don't know if this is true. Or what's going on. Now I'm going to put this under as well. And I'm going to glue down this one. Every day. I'm crafting every day. I'm tired so. I'm retired so now I can craft. Actively trying. <laughs> oh that's so cute. Yes same for me. I'm actively trying as well. Be creative. However it's not that easy. Honestly. It's sometimes difficult to motivate yourself. I guess. And I think. I don't know. I, I have phases. Sometimes I'm so happy and excited. Sometimes I Lucas laughs when he wants to get under my skin and piss me off a little bit. Do you know what he says to me? You're done. Girl, you're done. I can see it. I can see it. You've no inspiration today. And you didn't have any yesterday. And that is actually <laughs> bothering me so much when he says that, that I'm like, Ugh. And he's, he says that every week to me <laughs> from time to time, trying to... I don't know actually what's the purpose, Lucas. What's the purpose? Piss me off, is it? I don't get it. Like, what's the purpose of being so unkind to your wife? I do craft almost every day. I love crafting and I try to do something every day. That's good. I craft more now than I ever have with my shop. You can post your Etsy shop, Laura, link. Maybe someone would like to see it. I stopped for a while, struggled with health, and patched to my thyroid's finally getting better. Retired, but teach needlework and beadwork. I tried needles. I don't think it's my thing. I craft every day, a little something daily. Every day. Oh, very good. <laughs> You are the best, guys. It's 1 p.m. at night. I will catch up tomorrow. All right. Thank you so much. I never had this chance to tell you. Thank you so much for all, of, all your messages uh, on Instagram. Thank you, honestly. For the past months. I just wanted you to know that I appreciate it. I hope to get back soon to crafting. I hope so too, Rain. Um, where is that? I'll show you what Rain sent it to me some time ago. Uh, 
she is amazing. She made one letter for me and one for Emily. Uh, I think that was before Hannah, I'm guessing. So I have my own beautiful resin M letter. It's phenomenal, right? So I hope you'll be back to that rain soon. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay, let's see. Crafting my whole life late, lately, just making decorating journals. That's good. Let's see this now. Is this dry-ish or are we going to make this dry now? Marta, add a fold piece to the back. Hang attached to journal. Use as a holder for a tag. Oh, that's a cute idea. Thank you so much, Mavra. Honestly, I just wanted you to know that for those many years, many months, um, Mavra have been asking me. She's a doctor herself. And she has been asking me about Lucas's mom and giving advices and you know like she had been my my internet rock <laughs> you know every day hi marta hi knock knock that's hi to you lucas <laughs> he is here hiding you know he's hiding now my qu second question is like i haven't done the back because i was too lazy but now that i'm looking i think i would love to paint it so i won't be putting paper but i will paint it now You see, sometimes it's louder, sometimes it's quieter. Okay, now the next step is to get rid of the sides of that. So he is here next to me. Hannah is with Emily. Um, I don't know which one is minding which. <laughs> Possibly Hannah. It's she actually Hannah was so funny. Like I was on tennis classes because we actively play tennis with Lucas, like really actively, and we are getting really better at it. Especially Lucas, he's crazy good. And I've been on the classes, um, and I came back late from the classes, and we had a nightclub as well. And Hannah was already in bed, being in bed, like nearly putting to bed by Lucas and a few minutes later when I came I, she's coming downstairs and she goes mom I just needed to tell you something I just want to snitch a little bit on Emily because guess what she didn't clean she didn't help out to clean and she was uh, Hannah was cleaning her toys and she said do you know what she said mom that she sees no difference in my cleaning <laughs> and she left <laughs> she was so cute uh, on that Crafting saved my life, like many of us, I guess. Mavra, you have. You have been my my daily checkup <laughs> of my reality of what's going on, you know. And gave me thoughts and thinking and, you know, it was, it was important to have you. Thank you, honestly. <laughs> Lucas Vicky says Lucas is never on camera because he's so gorgeous he would have to take over the channel it's so true that's what he says and today when he moved the camera in the wrong di uh, direction and in the wrong angle that my face would look chubby I said what did you do and he goes nothing it's fine you can fix it during the life and I was like furious and fuming fuming and I'm like Lucas we're starting life just now and the camera is in the wrong angle and he goes and I was like really angry and he goes I'm gonna press start now and everyone will hear everyone will hear the real Maremi and he was threatening me guys you know my favorite uh, Dan art college is from 2017 art college deco journal February deco brick wall January frozen effect oh, I'm gonna take that v take that oh yeah <laughs> Lucas <laughs> one second uh, I need to take a photo of something Lucas one second sorry I'm going to take that, Jane, your comments about which videos you like the most. I'm going to check them out and see which are really your favorites so that 
I will tell you one more funny story about Hannah, right? <laughs> we got this uh, have to we got this uh, gift from um, Angela from our friend, very good friend, best friend, and it was a flower pot with the flower, no, fl yeah, flower pot with the in the box with the flower inside, and it was said to be water uh, to, to leave it for the winter and to water it. I don't know, like closer to spring or something, and to leave it for now in the cold, cool place, dry. Yeah. So Lucas put it in the in the bathroom, right? And then he discovered that Hannah was actually watering it one day. We got it like two months ago. And he goes, what are you doing? And she says, um, well, I'm watering the flower. Look, it's growing. And it's not supposed to grow. And he goes, since when are you watering it? And she goes, since few few months, daddy, now. So she has been hiding and secretly watering that poor plant, thinking that she's rescuing it, which in fact, I don't know what it is it's going to grow now or not, but it's supposed to be left out untouched. But now with Hannah, obviously. Love how supportive Lucas is so sweet. I'm telling you, he's not that sweet and he's not that supportive sometimes. Seriously. True love, Marta. <laughs> tough love. It is tough love. Yes, it is tough love. That's what he says as well to me. Yeah. I wanted those dumb na dumb dumb nails, ten kilos. He goes, you will never carry it. Like you never be like I was in the shop. You won't be able to lift it, so he didn't buy me any. You know, like I don't know. Sometimes I think he knows me better than myself, which is true. But yeah, we have uh, we argue quite a lot, and we're very energetic couple in that matter. We we like yeah, we're very different. Like we're talking very different. Everything is different between two of us. We're different on all occasions, you know. So. Oh, thank you so much for the heart, Karina. I just found you on Christmas time with your shorts on Facebook. Oh, really? I'm watching everything I can find you do. I'm watching everything I can find that you do. Oh, so hot. So good to hear. Thank you. <laughs> I think someone has to be down to earth so the other person can fly in the sky. And that's true. You know, I hope I'm enough supportive to him as he is to me. But I don't know about that because he wouldn't tell. You know, he wouldn't say. He is not, uh, Lucas doesn't really speak about feelings. Opposite of attract, exactly that. Yeah, like me, we every like everything is different with us. Like I, I, I think the only thing common is kids. Even that we argue how to raise them. Of course, I be the one rebelling and allowing them, and Lucas would be like, no, no, no. <laughs> so <laughs> we just the tool that I'm using. It's many years old. Ingrid Ball, my beautiful, amazing designer of many, many years ago from Prima, actually. Uh, but it's a distress tool. If you Google for distress tool, Marbella Creations. I wish that my husband support me on uh, me on my hobbies. Looks like you have a diamond in raw. <laughs> Guys, why do you have an idea he's supporting me? <laughs> Lucas, it, it looks like you're a very good person. I don't know where they're getting that from. Oh, the battery is low on my tablet. He's a supportive technician. I'm not joking. There's no battery. We need to, yeah. Uh, I've been watching her since your oldest used art, and you sh and she was like your oldest used to do art. Yes, and she was little like you're younger now. That's so true. Uh, Hannah would love to be uh, doing art with me, but she's so energy wise different than Emily. Emily was calm. She was noble. Is that the word? She was like sophisticated. She was kind and listening. And Hannah is the tornado one. Uh, that. I think that's the one, no? No. All right, the white one. One second, guys. I'm looking for the cable. That's it? Yeah? Or? Uh, I don't know. That's it, Lucas. I don't have any other. Uh, Hannah is the walking tornado, you know? 
like having her, her in the studio it's it's a different energy whatsoever like she's unpredictable i would be scared that she's going to actually say stuff or do stuff like she is unpredictable no joke uh she is she's great she's funny she's everything i dream of but she also is a walking um what's the word it's not working uh walking uh, oh no it is working a low power mode i'll do that uh, she is uh, how would you describe hannah <laughs> lucas is laughing because <laughs> like she is oh he sometimes lucas says she's gonna sell us <laughs> that's what he says about hannah marta i'm telling you this child one day she's gonna sell us all <laughs> have to go I'll see you later my hubs opposite to always the one are not prepared for yeah, exactly hurricane is the new accepted yes four year old in the household and we lovingly call little save save, save savage <laughs> oh my gosh that's so true no Hannah is like Today she loves daddy, tomorrow she loves mommy. When one is not hearing, then she's like, I love you more than when, or, or the funnest is, mommy, do you think you love me more than Emily? <laughs> do you think I'm more favorite? Do you think I'm cuter than Emily? I don't know where is this rivality, com rivality coming from. Mom, do you think you love me more? I'm like, I, I don't. Why? <laughs> she's so funny. She's actually so cute. You can't get mad at her. You know, she's like, she's seriously, I don't know. There's something special about her that you can't really, yeah, you can't be mad. And, you know, she's just, she's just Hannah. She's just so cute. Why am I the youngest in the class? And there you go. Or every day coming from school now, is it my birthday today? Although she knows it's not. Is it, why it's not my birthday? Can we not make it my birthday today? You know, and she's like this constant, like, um, She's taking off her clothes from school to get changed. Do I have to fold this, mom? I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm really, really tired today. Every day, the same story. Do I really have to do it like as if she's born for other better things than chores in the house, you know, literally. Uh, and she's so cute with it. I'm covering everything with clear a layer of clear gesso. So we're going to have like a lovely coat of coat of coat. We're gonna coat our <laughs> our our flowers, our little houses, guys. This is the longest life without any project being successfully done. You must be loving me as much as my husband, probably, that you're still sticking around here, even though light is probably at least our priorities right now. <laughs> you need to forgive me that I just missed you as well so much. Our chats, me chatting to you, me complaining, me speaking stories, telling you stories. I will I think I just missed you too much. And it's Lucas's idea for the life. So, yeah, big applause for the Lucas now. <clears throat> wow. I love these cute houses. I love the flowery um, one as well. I can't believe I have been watching you for six years now. Oh my gosh, thank you. That means since I was pregnant with Hannah, at least Hannah asked, my daughter's just got, got naked as soon as she walked in the door. <laughs> well, we do love you. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to do my roles, but getting distracted chatting finished jessing. Thanks, Lucas. First time in life. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're about to have a treat of chats. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. A treat, a treat of chats. Because, uh, yeah, when you meet up with the chatty chatter, you'd like, yeah. Chat is just as important as art, if not more on my channel. For many years, everyone was saying, Marta, it's the chat. Marta, it's the chat. And then sometimes I read the comment, stop talking. <laughs> You're talking too much. You're chatting too much. And I'm thinking... You never will make everyone happy. And just get used to it, Marta. Just get that idea and that's it. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's dry in it to our houses a little bit. You love my creativity. Ah, thank you. I do love it too as well, honestly. I love my creative life. 
That's what Lucas always says. You have at least craft. You do what you love. And I'm thinking sometimes, are you jealous? Are you complaining or what? But it's true. I do like the work. It's a different load of work. It's a different, like sometimes I complain. I say, oh, Lucas, but it's me replying to emails. It's me replying to comments. It's me liking this. It's me sending links. It's this, this, this everything and he goes but it's your love and i'm thinking it's so true actually <laughs> so yeah i don't mind you've been watching me for eight years now wow <laughs> you've fallen asleep <laughs> zoe well i don't blame you i to when like i do chat so i agree with importance of chatting i think so too Okay, I'm going to try this a little bit. Uh, while this is drying, I'm going to take this away because we maybe don't need that much. We uh, Actually, Lucas, if you don't mind, I will need a hot glue gun uh, on in a minute. But I need to tidy this all up a little bit because it's a bit messy. Not that I'm a clean crafter, you know, I'm not. I'm the last to be clean, but this is a little bit too much because I've been getting rid of on those edges. So really, so really. And there's comment in Polish that someone is watching my videos since the moment that there was no voice, no chats, just the music in my videos, which is like since forever, <laughs> since very much beginning. Oh, my, my, my. It's amazing. So many years. So many years. Wow. Do you know what? I remember when we were signing up with YouTube policies and earning money through YouTube, right? I actually thought it was a scam. I remember we moved into this house only and we were sitting with the shaking hands, signing the documents. It's like signing with devil which is not true obviously but it felt so weird how can you work for youtube adsense something google because it's actually working for google really so because it's not youtube it's google it felt very unrealistic and i had only one friend that i could ask about and she said she's not earning with youtube so i'm like you're not no she said i had no one to ask back then at whether I'm doing good or not, the only people that I could rely on was my Lucas and vice versa. So when we signed up for that, I was like, what if this is a scam? What if um, since the beginning to, oh, you remember voice uh, videos with no voices. I have to go. We'll see you later, Stephanie, Steffi, 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 beautiful name. I wish closed caption was on. You have an accent and talk fast. We love you. <laughs> I do. Uh, since the beginning. So I just wanted to say that uh, we were actually petrified on the thought of uh, signing up for Google. Like I had no one to ask whether it's a scam or it's true that it's possible to earn money from videos. We just weren't too sure, you know, so old times and who would think back then that we will be it's it's gonna be our full-time job you know six years how long have you been doing youtube videos youtube videos i think uh, 11 years i think now is it must be 11 years yeah and actually the first youtube video that i was asked to do was through a design team which was Lindy's stamp gang I made the video on the old laptop and it wouldn't actually uh, transmit this video it wouldn't like transform it like the laptop basically couldn't get through all those files it was old laptop 11 years ago so we invested and I, I remember we bought a very expensive laptop back then uh, there were different times as well I think it could be around maybe a thousand or something dollars back then for the laptop and like the, it's it was not even my job it was just a project for a company that sent me glitter which well not glitter but uh, sprays and some powder so when i look back it was i was always in the belief of i love what i'm doing i need to go and follow my instinct and that was my instinct by back then you know because even lucas was like saying how do you know it's going to be something you're going to do i'm like i don't know but i have to try 
So we purchased the laptop, even though I had no prospective of any full-time job back then. I don't think YouTube was even a thing back then. <laughs> Tina, read my comment. Let me see, Tina, your comment above. I could just listen to your voice all day. You're beautiful and you're a positive light in my life. Thanks for sharing your time, creative knowledge. Oh, thank you so much. That's very sweet of you to say, honestly. Uh, I, oh, long uh, rides car, med I craft with their videos, listen to them on the long car rides car to medical treatments to help me relax. Oh my gosh, thank you. Do you have any tips for doing YouTube, not giving up? Um, I would, I could say a lot, honestly. Um, yeah, I have plenty tips, plenty ideas. Maybe I should do a series of that, but I don't know if that's any good how to start craft YouTube channel or how to keep going or, but what do you mean? Uh, how many, do you have any tips for doing YouTube, not giving up? Do you mean, do you have a YouTube channel and it's not working or tell me what your thoughts about it? And maybe I'm able to reply your instinct. Never lie. It's so true. Actually, you, we, you have to, how is your heating tool so quiet? It's because I think uh, the microphone is not collecting that noise. I think it is it is uh, doing this quiet noise because of the. You okay, Hannah? What's up? You like a cartoon, is it? We need to ask everyone. Do you think, guys, that Hannah uh, should have a cartoon? Do you want to ask? Yeah. No. Maybe. We'll see if if my friends will say you it would be good to have a little bit of cartoon. Can you see the words? What's written there? Can you read it? What's written there, Hannah? No. Oh, shall I? What's written here? Um, there's a yes here. Is it? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Yes, and uh, is there more yeses? Yes. <laughs> yes. Cartoon. <laughs> yes, yes to the cartoon so true you read that Hanya yes, yes, yes. Hannah no oh, my pet okay I think you they can all said yes. they all say yes so you I think it's time for you to say to daddy that everyone voted yes for Hannah <laughs> local store can pick up extra income when I can and need to buy Good pay for a class YouTube channel. That might be a good pay for class. Oh, you mean about YouTube channel, is it? Tutorials to pay. Oh, that's I didn't think about that. I stumbled while healing from COVID. You kept me sane on my darkest days. Oh, cartoon, cartoon and a snack, Hannah. <laughs> okay, guys, I think we need to find some proper butterfly for this one. Let's see. Oh, this one. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let's see which one would match up. Oh, wow. They all so gorgeousness. So colorful as well and all. Mm -hmm. These could be cute. The, this tree. Why isn't closed captioning on? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should check the the settings after the live. I honestly, I think I have it on as automatic. So maybe it's going to happen after the live class. I don't know. <laughs> so what do you say? Oh, the bugs are cute as well. <laughs> These are big ish, so for a different one, but let's start from the beginning. Maybe I I somehow love this one because I think the gray could be nice and very much nicely standing out. So this uh, this gray. Okay. How about that blue one as well, maybe or this one that could be bluey nice as well do you know what i just want to say thank you honestly thank you so much for joining here it's so amazing to 
to have so many of you joining, watching, coming to my channel all the time for so many years. It's it's fantastic. It's beautiful and I'm I'm truly grateful, you know. I have such a great community for so long and I I sometimes feel I don't appreciate it enough. Uh I hope I do, but I I think sometimes no, but that's probably due to, you know, life, I guess. Może jeden z was ko. Oh, the dragonfly. Okay, I used to sit down and watch Ruby Gloom cartoon with my granddad. Yes, I have an art YouTube channel, watercolor and mixed media, but also a doctor trying to balance it. Sometimes YouTube does well, recently not so much. I'd love to for it to be full time, make an income too. Okay, well, first of all, um, you must remember that YouTube channel is also like a, a technological tool, YouTube in general. So not everything really, depending from you. You okay, Hannah? What's up? You just want me? Not everything depends from you. A lot of times you would make an amazing... Hmm? No, Hanushka. Uh, an amazing video and nobody will still watch it. Or you will make some maybe average video and it will take off and have loads of views. So you must know a lot of it is a luck, coincidence, right moment, or just a great video, or a bit of both, or nothing. Um, I've learned that to you have to somehow beat the algorithm of YouTube, which means you really have to create content that will speak volume. And I'm talking about video itself, but also that particular uh, first image. It's important how you're going to title it, what's the image on the, on the thumbnail. You need to have a bit of a hook. Like sometimes I would put, let's say, a title of I'm quitting crafting. And it's partially true, partially not. And it's because I really wish people to get the attention and to really click the video and to be notified because YouTube is playing games with us creators for many years. And it's very difficult to reach to people. Like you may think I have how many? Over 300,000 people on this channel. How many is watching? Less than 200. We have 300,000 people subscribed to this channel how come there is only 200, less than 200 watching? Tell me, you know. So trust me, it's not easy to run a YouTube channel, whether you're big or small. Not everything depending from you. I would suggest focus on projects that are really different, special, on techniques that could be really life-changing, that could be really interesting, special, helpful. Like, like, And don't be someone else. Be you. Honestly, be you. Try to try to take inspiration from others. Try to look in others' YouTube channels, see what works for them. But make your own. Make a twist if possible. You know, you know, because um, long term will work. Short term, short term, you may be lucky here or there. But at the end, you want to be your long term best. So you have to be really true to yourself. Some of the ones I worked hard on don't get any as many views. Exactly. Now, one suggestion as well. If you wish to grow your channel in subscribers, there the, the, the be, be, better chances to grow number of subscribers is uh, on Reels. Like you post a Reel and somehow, weirdly enough, YouTube is picking up on the Reels and you can have like this view and then zoom and then back again. So within this boom moment, you probably will gain like five subscribers or 20 subscribers. It could be like from 30 views to 3000 views in, in split hour. That's algorithm. That's how it works. So if you are a small YouTuber, I would most definitely focus your energy on creating shorts or reels, well, shorts for YouTube, to have a chance to be not if, uh, to, to be spotted, you know? to get subscribers, to get the watch time as well. And to um, to start making money, you really have to have biggish, 
bigger amount of subscribers. I think it's a thousand, and you need to have a minimum trash trash threshold of something. I think it could be seventy or something like that. Can't remember. So it's. Uh, I don't think you're gonna get those numbers. The watch time as well from uh, shorts. Don't focus on that. To be eligible to work and make money, you need to have big watch time from regular videos. Can you also talk about Instagram algorithm? I find it very hard to get bigger reach on Instagram, although I'm posting more regularly and posting more reels now too. Well, from my experience, if you have maybe listened at the beginning, Laura, I um, two months ago, I had 150,000 people following my Instagram, and now I tripled that number. How? If you think I had anything to do with this, hmm, truly, maybe I had 50-50% chance to do with it. Uh, I was lucky to be picked up by Instagram. I was also lucky that people that have been on my Instagram then loved my project enough to share it, save it, comment it, like it. And when Instagram saw, wow, this reel is really bringing attention from people. We're going to show it to more people. And that that's how I was picked up. That's why there's so many million views on my uh, reels on Instagram. Now, why as well? Because the video was very good. I have focused my energy on creating projects for everyday people. That's the truth. I thought I really would love to make others craft. If I will be using, let's say... I don't know what's super professional. Um, quickly, quickly, Marta. If I will be using only... One second, guys. If I will be using only... Mm, I can't think now. Let's say... Oh. Of this, if I will be suggesting, for example, that the only way to get beautiful butterfly is to by purchasing this, even though you're not crafty, but you will like uh, you will cut that butterfly, you will stamp that butterfly and color it. What that says to me that you need to purchase a proper tool to make something pretty. So I decided to show people to be creative in the most simple way without spending money, without feeling that you need to be a crafter to make crafty stuff, right? So basically, this is where the idea of toilet paper rolls came. This is where I make very uh, basic collage paintings or pages like, like this one. I really would love a regular person to do that. And I think it's super possible just because... There isn't tools much needed. Okay, mediums as in pens, colors, yes. But um, you can substitute colors as well. As in, um, you don't have to have the most professional to do this. You can really be creative with basics and follow still. So I don't know if I'm replying to your um, thinking, to your... But that's, you know, that's that's how things have been. I just decided, and I still have this ethos in me, even with this project. Look, okay, I have used the butterflies, but you can substitute butterflies, I guess, from either draw it or from some other book you own or paint it yourself, draw it, maybe print it from online. I don't know. And then you don't have to have these endings, right? You don't. It's just an extra. But it's the it's the role that it's the main characters. I really wanted to make sure and show project that it's super doable for everyone, you know. Uh, uh, I suppose I also don't do tutorial specifically myself, although I hope to start doing with more new camera. Well, tutorials, it's uh, people love tutorials. And I've learned one thing as well. That a lot of people would watch tutorials without ever actually uh, making them, as in making those projects. So, um, yeah, I, I think I like I've seen people following me, some big names following me. There was this big name that followed me on Instagram. I was, oh, I was gobsmacked. I think I took a screenshot to see if it's actually possible. That was like a movie a real movie actor actress sorry 
was it Jane Fonda or someone like that? Like I'm talking about a name that everyone knows. I can't remember now. Could be Jane Fonda, actually. I don't know. Uh, but some big name have followed me. And I was like, what is going on here? So this is where Instagram is picking up someone and showing to the rest of the world. And by then, you're lucky. But then again, those waves of being super popular, they, they don't last forever because now it's like everything swishing down. And that's okay, too. I've learned my, my, my lesson. I stip, still stick to my beliefs, what I love making and stuff. And the most important thing for me is to really educate, show people that everyone can be creative because I think people can start being creative even if you don't think you can be or you need that because people are going through different things in life. And if I can reach to those who never crafted but found myself and maybe because of me started being creative in the, in like I'm talking real, real life, then I'm super lucky and super like this is my mission all ultimately, you know, to have me as their balm for their ears, for their soul, for everything. Sometimes for some, I don't know, for like, you know, these are pretty butterflies, guys. And if you tell me, you know, like people have different opinions, but this book is like second to none. I love it. I honestly would advocate it because I think it's so much worth it. The The butterfly one. It is gorgeous. I know I will use them all. And that's probably maybe except the box of this <laughs> of this kind, you know, and that's maybe too cartoony for me as well. But like this one, it's for, for sure. I'll use it. Uh, and I wanted to show the bird one and actually skipped it several times. One second. Look at the bird one. I'd be jumping into birds as well because I love vintage as well. These are loads of them. Like, like they are so perfect and beautiful. And I have to tell you as well, I'm torn in between using element, elements, using Im uh, images, and also to be into zone of this kind of art. And I'm thinking you don't have to choose, Marta. You can be this. You can be this. You can be this. You can be watercolor hearts for your cards you can be everything you don't have to limit yourself most importantly is to really grow to really educate yourself in terms of exp expressing yourself doing things um making art coming to the studio speaking to others showing things learning experimenting experiencing making art no matter what uh don't don't you don't have to limit yourself to be this only artist or that only you know i hope that makes sense the ease of the the ease of your projects the creativity and your caring loving personality the way we follow you your sincerely touches your has all oh, rain thank you they'll think i'll page you say that <laughs> i'm with you group music on the videos are often annoying i like the personalities too oh i didn't see that comment but i'm guessing you prefer the um, you prefer the the personalities are why I watch. I'm sitting at my desk playing with art journal. I just want to hear someone video selling music. Don't really watch. Uh, uh, yes, exactly. Uh, the, the person. I'm so sorry, but the person that was asking about about sketch and scrubs, you were asking about. Why don't you just uh, send a link to your YouTube channel? Go on. We have nearly 200 people there here if someone could go and subscribe to your channel jump in with your channels guys go on put the link into your channel in the comments people will go and maybe have a look if they like it they'll subscribe um and don't play with this i subscribe because you subscribe and stuff like that it doesn't work like that i don't believe in those games i ne never liked the hop idea of you of on youtube for crafting community we hop between the channels so we can get gain uh, subscribers i don't believe in those because i think you should you should gain your subscribers by being you by your work be advocated by your work by your person by different elements but not necessarily i don't know forcing someone to sob because you have to win a prize um uh, sorry i'm lost in the comments <laughs> section i have always said your sincerely and kindness come through in every single video Mwah! thank you rain i will definitely go and look at channels i hope everything turns out well no i don't 
like getting those messages either. Don't know. Thrift store. Check out book from thrift shops. Absolutely. Uh, as a retired teacher, we would borrow each other's ideas and we would refine them and share. Exactly. That's exactly it. So speaking of that beautiful book, uh, again, if you will be using Amazon, I know, again, people are iffy, iffy about Amazon. I have been apprehensive for years and now Amazon is my as well place to shop. I like Amazon and it's making people's life easier. But if you will decide to purchase any of the books, please use my link, my affiliate link from my any Amazon affiliate link if you make a purchase because that's... Uh, that's the um firstly they will know that you got it from me and it's nice that it's nice when when uh, the creator gets recognized that people do follow maybe not follow is probably bad but the recommendation do work really i i think i hope i hope i, I think you know that if i really recommend something it's i truly believe in it and stand for it and look at it i mean this is gorgeous actually the size of this book as well like i would love to make a page with this one look look it's so perfect uh same for this one it's so beautiful for a page it's so pretty the vintage you feel like this one this one and this is one of those books exactly like i need i said it to i said it to port host guys we need this kind of vintage feel book with the mushrooms with butterflies with like we need this side book as well i said please please because like it's so crazy gorgeous like look beautiful amazing right love them all so pretty look super gorgeous now probably i wouldn't choose every like i probably wouldn't choose the the birdies with the umbrella but then you know this is like this is this is totally to use i love that this is totally to use to me uh this these these hummingbirds totally use this for winter page phenomenal pretty you know dogs i don't know <laughs> but you know like maybe uh, uh, the, the 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 this type of bird uh, i don't know i don't know but this the blue gorgeous i mean these seriously like there are two not enough not enough years of crafting to use all of these beauties so uh i just wish to put it out there that the bird book and the insect book are just so worth it look at that background if you don't like these like probably i probably wouldn't choose much of these hopefully the background is nice let's see it is gorgeous there you go what about this one? Oh, lucas is saying that you want to go to sleep is that true who wants to finish the life class now look i probably wouldn't choose these and that's okay uh unless these are tags awesome idea but i would be happy to use this gorgeous background Guys, Lucas is saying to finish. He says that you need to go to bed. Put the hot glue gun on, please, Lucas. Thank you. Uh, is that true? I need a third book. <laughs> that bird book, yeah. Uh, it's not shiny. Exactly. Those papers are not shiny. That's why I love them so much. A lot of uh, Amazon college books would come. I'll show you. I'll show you. Would come this. Look at that quality. Look how blurry that is. I'm not going to show you which book is that, but this is really unfair to those who purchase the book. Okay, maybe some like it, but this is another Amazon, a different brand, different author. Not only that the images are copy one from another, uh, they just, like, I mean, seriously, guys. Okay, they are very watercolory feel. They are, you know, people may love it, but look, you can still have a beautiful watercolor feel. Um, I don't know what kind of imagery is this, wh why they are such a weird, bad quality. But this book, like, I believe if someone purchased it, would be quite disappointed with that, I think. But then again, everyone's cup of tea maybe is different. I don't know. Um, or another uh, issue that I would get um, is, one second, is this.
one, for example, where you have the shine, right? It's not something I enjoy, to be very honest. All of these, this is different brand again, and they are all shiny. This is matte. Uh, bird book stunning, what it's called, the front. The bird book is called um, Birds and Fera. Only the covers are shiny, but the inside is not. But please use the link from my uh, from my YouTube if you don't mind. There's Insect and Fera book, and if you go to Insect and Fera book, you can find the birds book as well. Um, actually, maybe I can can I copy that? Open copy link. Oh wait a second. How to copy that, Lucas? Look. Oh, copy. You can actually... How to paste it? I don't know. I don't know how to use this tablet. Oh, maybe this? Oh, there you go. No, that's wrong altogether. Maybe Rain is able to uh, paste the comment in the... of the Amazon books, if possible. Are you able to rain post uh, the post the insect and fair book so people can get it from there? So that's the bird's book. That's the insect. These two are crazy beautiful. And the co the covers are shiny indeed. But the rest, no. It's a pure, gorgeous matte, you know? So that's another one that I love. Botanical and fair as well. Look how pretty those are. And the side pages are insane. I think I prefer... Um, like, these are perfect for ATC's sizes of projects. Gorgeous little elements. Look at... Look at this. And I know it's IE. I know it's the whole image is IE. But I just totally love that. Because even to create this, um, you still have to have knowledge of being uh, of graphic designer. Not IE. Uh, I E, no, E I. Anyway, you still have to have knowledge of being graphic designers to create gorgeous elements put together. Like seriously, so pretty. Anyway, let's go and let's move on, Mar uh, Marta. Because Lucas is right. Everyone is, wants to go to sleep. Uh, I like the blurry for some background. For some background, yes, absolutely. Do you have the tree book? I do. I do, and I think it is divine as well because. Uh, one second. I have used one tree for that journal page, I think. Am I right? If I'll... You should see the state of my room now that I'm just jumping in from project to project. I think I've used, uh, on this project, I've used this tree from this book. So I mixed the Emphera from... Uh, I mixed the Emphera from... What you call it? From tree book and from the mushroom book the tree book is also very pretty and the side cover the side pages are unbelievable like <clears throat> now look at that they are so pretty some of them less as well, probably unusable for me, but some of them, like, this is such a pretty page. You know, how do you know they are I? I'm guessing someone has to have created them unless you could just describe something and it gets drawn. Yes, you can describe things on the, um, on the computer and the artificial intelligence is coming up with those images. Unless I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm taking back everything I have said. These are my feelings. And it's very hard to even ask or it's very hard to... I think I think it, people just don't speak about it. You know, I think people just don't speak about it, basically. So I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to call out everything back. But I think I'm not wrong. You know? Okay. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's finish our beautiful, beautiful little houses. 
I think I love the idea that um, um, I love. Do you remember if you're watching me long enough, you know that I have been always waiting for, always looking for different elements for my projects, especially big ones as well. Big, like I would buy scrapbook paper with the element pages only. I wouldn't buy the whole collection a lot of times. I would just focus on the page 12 by 12 page with elements only i would have them i still have some leftovers in my store because i would be in the lookout for elements so these books are like my like it's like the answer for my prayers literally you open the book and you will find something pretty and i love it so much for that reason that i don't have to uh, i can just go through the book of the same interest of the same elements and i will find something that i will love and i love that for this reason you know enough with the book please enough with the books i'm sorry zoe if you don't like that uh, but they are a big part of today's video so and also it's nice to see what's inside i guess um i also post that's okay rain like uh, whoever wants to find it they will find it through the through the um link in the description box no you're right okay i'm sold the tree book um, but Zoe, why you say it's enough with the books? I, have I said something too much, or what's what's your thoughts? I would like to hear when you when you when you mention it's enough. Is have I said too much? Have I said wrongly about it, or why you feel this? Mm -hmm. No. <clears throat> Now let's see. We have to think for which uh, goes where, but I think I think I have the winner. Oh yeah, I think like that. Am I right? Maybe. I love the kind of black and white feeling about the the. Yeah, I love that. Now I have used as well the inks. If I all oh, this fell down. I have the walnut stain color. No, and we're gonna just jump in and have a little bit of color play on the side. Walnut stain. Uh, a lot of people use vintage photo color, but for some weird reason, I love that. Um, I prefer this, I think it's more brown. Uh, no, I think it's less brown and more dirty. I think it's not as brown. I think vintage photo is basically too brown for me. It's it's, it's vintage uh, and all, but it's just not what I like. Thank you so much, Rain. Thank you, thank you, honestly. Yeah, I think as well, uh, maybe I'm raw, rowing about those uh, books because I truly um, always have been on the lookout for butterflies. You know me, if you're long, a long watcher, you know, I try to escape from butterflies towards different elements but then I decided why do you escaping why are you trying to uh, sacrifice your love for the butterflies just because you feel or someone else feel you using it too much so maybe that's why I'm raving about it because um I know I will be going back to it at, at some some purchases uh, over the years I made because of whatever reasons and it felt afterwards that it's a waste of money I didn't use it which here uh, I'm saying and mentioning maybe maybe too many times or something a, because it's the focal point of our project regardless. B, um, it's a live show. I don't plan what I'm going to say. So, super <laughs> super easy as that. And I, I love helping out. And if I can help out by pointing a good buy, why not? Okay. I'm also edging, as you can see, the sides. I'm here to see how you will use the elements from the books in your project. Well, Zoe, so I'm honestly thinking that if you, for the project only, then you can mute, you know, my voice. You can fast forward the video. You can watch it later as well on the fast forward mode. You know, life is uh, maybe a little just different than regular tutorial. I wouldn't like to make you upset by what I say. So, you know, um... And I can't change who I am, to be honest. That's how that's how I always have been for years, you know. 
Um, but yes, uh, you know, like the um, those kind of conversation or comments or little disagreements. I'm on YouTube for 11 years. Like I've heard it so many things. I've seen it all. I've heard it all. I had be getting emails from people do saying to me how I should run my business, how I should run my YouTube channel, what I should say, re record, show, etc. I've seen it all. I've seen the upset side. I've seen angry side. I've seen it all. I've seen people having been totally angry at me that I have membership. And they would not think twice be before sending the emails to me. And th they, they would be very helpful, hurtful. And they had been. But I just learned to that some people, um, whatever they say, it's how they feel and they have they right to do and if they feel that they have to you know mention things out loud maybe that's what they need to do and I look everyone's can do whatever they feel and I do as well how things are feeling well on me on my instincts and my heart you know I always like to look in the mirror and say you did you did well you're okay like you know that kind of attitude I have and I be honest I have my Lucas Every time something got into my nerves, sometimes I would read him comment or I would read him email and he'd be like, Marta, stop, close it down, wait a day, wait an hour, don't rush your answer, don't be mean and rude because in anger people do say these things, you know, uh, of all sorts. <clears throat> we speak back and we do say things. Your lesson includes sharing produce comparison. It was informative for me to make better quality purchase. Thank you very much for saying that. I honestly think this. Uh, thank you for showing the books always like before purchase. Yes, come because of your variety of your content. Delightful. Oh, Paula, thank you. Whole conversation. Thank you. Inside of the books. Helpful to see the books. Don't ever change, Marta. Thank you. That's funny, Marta. I like watching your videos, especially because of your talking. You're always so supportive and respectful. I try to. And I don't think I always am because I'm only the person. But sometimes Lucas would drag me and he would say, stop it. Or delete that from the video because I have said he would listen to my recordings and he's the outsider. And he would say sometimes like, Marta, you shouldn't be really saying that. Or don't mention this. Or... You know, people may this may understand it wrongly, or they may misunderstood you, or you know. So I have my mirror as in Lucas, even now, uh, even in this life, he he looked at me and he 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 just nodded his head, and I'm like, okay, it's cool, <laughs> you know, that kind of way, uh, because he knows me as well. I'm the fire one. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> In general, I'm the I'm the, um, the person that would always, you know, jump into the fire first and fight. I'm a fighter. So and Lucas is the let think about let's think about it. I'm opposite. Then there's no time for thinking at all. I'm the fire, and he's like the water on that fire. You know. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you for the hearts, guys. Honestly, you don't have to. You know, you don't have to. We need to give the membership. I forgot, Lucas. You don't have the option. No, you must have. You here. You have to be logged in. Are you logged in as you? Yeah. Oh, so you're trying and you can't? No, that's impossible, Lucas. You have to be able. No, no. Are you serious? Well, Google it quickly because we're going to be finishing live soon. <laughs> you have to. Super chat. No. What? No, there must be some way. No, 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 Lucas. There must be some way. You have to look for some way. I'm going to see here on my tablet as well. Oh, yeah, look. There is. Uh, but, 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 but one second, guys. Podaru subscription. Oh, the... Oh my gosh, that's in Polish actually. One second, one second. I'll see the comments before you move. <clears throat> okay, Lucas is trying to figure it out. The, the membership, hopefully. 
No. No. No, this. This. Yeah. Okay, guys. I think we need to go five first and then five again. Okay, guys. Ready? Steady? The five membership is being gifted. So, guys, see who is that lucky. Oh, no way. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm so happy to see. I see four people. Skinny Pete, Texicana, Kirk, Hearts of Allah, and our cube got it. Congrats, guys. And there should be one more. Why there's four? Maybe YouTube is still looking for it. All types of people. That's life. Yes, yeah, true. <laughs> Congratulations. It is, um, guys, it is totally, totally uh, independent from me. Like, I can't decide who gets it. So uh, we have five more. I, I don't know why it gifted only four. Maybe it gifted four, is it, Lucas? Um, yeah. Oh, yes. Lucas says that whoever received it, you have to agree to get that. So whoever, thank you for all the inspiration you give us. Oh, thank you, Anki. Uh, the person, the fifth person that got the membership um, must agree on terms, I think, or something like that. That's why the fifth person didn't. Maybe you're there and you don't even know. Oh, there you go, guys. <laughs> you're very welcome. Proszę bardzo. <laughs> oh that's so cute yeah we have we can we will send one more and no we wait we surprise everyone <laughs> we do the suspense dum, dum, dum. look it's like let's give five more i'm like no let's wait with another five and until the very last minute or something you can you can't close that that's okay uh, you can refresh it though. Oh, there you go. <laughs> silly me. That's silly, Lucas. But I'm so happy that the, the make sure loving your family videos many years. You always thank you. The gift membership were published. What happened if you're already a member? I don't think it would give to people with the membership already as in maybe it gifted to people that used to be members because i see that some of you already like um ala mazurowska she was a member because she has a yellow heart and she got the membership so she must have been a member before uh, and it counted her as a current membership as well uh, <laughs> what can i use if you don't having oh my you can use even paint get yourself a finger get the paint that you like dissolve it a little bit with water Get a kitchen, uh, kitchen, um, gompka in English, uh, rubber, not rubber, um, sponge, and just sponge it even with the, you know, look like a kitchen, kitchen, uh, sponge thing with the paint, even. You don't, uh, makeup? How about makeup? You know, you are very diplom, you are very diplomatic, but also good that you address the issue. Well, honestly, I'm trying to be diplomatic because you can't be everyone's cup of tea, of course. It's impossible that everyone will like me, but at the same time, I think I should be aware of all sorts of different people watching and. I think my my responsibility is to be responsible for what I say at the end of the day. Uh, so um, sometimes I do bite my tongue in general, and but that's in life, right? It's nothing different to than in life. You do bite your tongue as well sometimes, or you don't say about things because you don't think it's um, necessary or whatever. You are definitely a beautiful person. Your family is blessed to have you. Thank you. I'm going to collect toilet paper rolls. You should, because they could. Look, I have closed this one here, but you can easily leave it open and put some circle, like take the pencil, have a circle around it, put or glue it down and stuff like that. So, um, you know, like even, even uh, the fact that this life class, we're doing such a simple little project and it's already three hours. 
And for some, simply it could be just way too long for a silly project of this kind. So I get it. Pe like people would have no time or they would wish to be part of something, for example, but wish to get into point much faster than my silly chat. So I get it, you know. Oh, dziękuję, Alas, za informację. And so that's how it is, I guess. I love these. I think I love them more because they are less grungy. <laughs> I don't know. Have a look. Uh, it's one of just the life class, Marta. It's life. Oh my gosh, Vicky, it's so true. Today's class is more about life class. I think I have touched so many topics today. I think so many important topics. I touched so many actually important topics that indeed today's class is literally not a re regular class class where I focus on the tutorial, we focus on each other. And um, Lucas's mom being gone also taught us this, to stop and smell the roses, to, to really focus on what's important, to see other people, to go and play tennis even though you have to record a video no sometimes you need to go and play tennis because you go crazy or the weather is nice use that opportunity because in Ireland it's always raining or a lot of rain so if it's dry and you have those hour this hour go play tennis to clear your head um recent events in our life taught us this you know so if I can um, with my silly chats and those three hours of a class pass any of the good with that video I will do it you know that's how I see it story <laughs> that is it story it has to be there story it's today's project right it's a story <sighs> it's a story very much so lives are different than tutorials I think so too you can open house make a bottom cup fill candles of Valentine's idea yes well just be careful with the candles and paper <laughs> unless it's a fake candle you know you can have a plastic candle thing You've been Lucas pointing out because my my chat is different. Lucas is pointing out that there is a comment. I've been watching since three thirty in the morning. Well, you are going to be very tired today, <laughs> my 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 friends. But thank you so much for sticking to me. Um, love, love, no story, important. Oh, what is it? Uh, beauty, magic, no. What's what's matching? What's matching? Dreams. What is it? Happy heart. Heart story. Heels. Heart. Ha, there we go. Story. Heels. Heart. It's not as in together, but it's actually turned out to be together. And I look actually a lot of it now as well in the um in this that there's some hidden agenda in life i would see a lot of um we just we we see things differently with lucas now you know i don't know how to explain it but i think it it changed us a lot we still love each other and argue the same way <laughs> but uh, no i'm smart i'm laughing but it i think it changed a lot like i would ring my parents every day now before i would ring every second day every third day now I literally, I literally ring them every day. Funny enough, it's Lucas. Mom, um, he goes, Marta, did you ring mom? Did you ring your parents? Did you ring your parents? I'm like, no, do it. You do it. You do it. <laughs> I have to edit. So sometimes it's Lucas ringing to my parents, actually. And he would, I would say it to them out loud. I said, mom, mom, it's Lucas missed you. It's Lucas wanted to speak with you guys, not me. I'm sorry. Because they would be like, where's our daughter? And he goes, well, she's busy, but I'm ringing. And they're happy to hear him always. And vice versa. So if there is any lesson to be learned through those events, uh, it's this, to ring my parents more often, every day. Try to every day. You know, love your art and your chat. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect pink too. I see why people join your channel. Awesome. Oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful. I hope <laughs> this is the most beautiful, powerful. I see why. This is why, yeah. I think so. I think 
I really think it's that's that's the reason. I would hope that. I remember when I was struggling as well with making projects, right? With making videos and the watch time and everything. And watch them and everything. And I would be thinking, like, how can I differentiate myself from others? And every time I would hear the same. And, and now, years back, I understood it's you what makes you add what makes it different it's your personality or it's luck luck i don't know but it's you it's you who you really are that either drones people to you or not and if you can if you can showcase something more important then it's yourself you you know your character your way of thinking your values or uh the truth behind i guess that's probably it and yeah, sometimes it's not easy to share yourself because you share yourself with the world as well. You know that maybe your neighbors are watching you. You don't know what they think. Or maybe kids in Emily's class are watching and laughing. You know, it's it's not a, it's not all roses and, you know, roses and what they say, roses and, I don't know, <laughs> roses and roses. It's not only that, you know, there's... There are things that comes with it. Some not. I wish I want. I'm not a celebrity or anything. I'm. I don't feel any of pressure of like. No, I'm still anonymous person. But there are times where you think, wow, you you're not. If if you count all these people around, you're not that anonymous anymore. And people, some people really truly wait for your videos. You have to know that, Marta. And I say it to myself. You know. Um, I just rolled up some cardstock yesterday and here you are. Just cut them into tiny houses. Thank you. Oh, so happy. I've been making maple swirl pancakes while you sing to you. Oh, that's so yummy, which I have been putting off. I enjoyed the experience and I enjoy it. Gorgeous. I have to make these with my grandkids. Absolutely. Wine and roses. Yes, it's not all champagne or wine and roses. Exactly. Everything. Enjoying everything while I'm making them too. Beautiful little houses. Thank you um yeah today's lesson was more of a life lesson i guess right and yeah my beautiful friends i think we'll be shortly finishing let me just turn the camera around one second one second lucas you better go on the <laughs> you better go on the side before before you've been artist <laughs> he's so funny he is so funny Sometimes he would say to me, Marta, please do not talk about me. <laughs> because he would say, please do not talk about me because that's how people come and watch your video, because of me. <laughs> Stop talking about me. Stop making yourself numbers because of talking about me. So I think he's quite hilarious in that matter. Skinny Pete, did I win a membership? Ah, yes, you did. There you go. Um... Okay, there was five coming, five new membership guys. So jump in. Who is the lucky one? Angie, Anita, Teresa, Anik, Crystal. There you go, guys. I have no idea. Thank you. You're very welcome. There's 10 memberships gifted. So there you go. My beautiful friends, um, just know that I have no idea which level you are. So check the check the community tab as well um and check the check the playlist for membership only uh every video description have that playlist so you should be easy to find it i have no idea which level you you got you've been gifted so i don't know but my beautiful friends thank you so much for watching and i'm so happy that i could uh, i could gift you that please don't forget to hit the likes up or down preferably up save this video maybe put it in the in your uh, playlist maybe you could share it on your social media maybe you could uh, share it with your friends but most importantly if you will be seeing new videos from me i would be so happy if you could be more active on the youtube channel uh, because that means so much for youtube unfortunately you know the more you're active the better my youtube channel is doing <laughs> simply as that you will be notified 
you will watch the video and I'll be happy uh, to be seen by more people. So, oh my goodness, thank you so much. You're very welcome. I can tell you we're going to do the same thing every month. We're going to have memberships for you guys every month. So join the live class. Mm, set a reminder, subscribe to the channel, set reminders so you won't miss it. We, got, we give to 10. Uh, there will be 10 next month. Every month we're going to do that. I'm going to try as at least. Um, yeah, and if we're not going to be able to do a live class, we're going to do premiere, live premiere, so pre-recorded video where we'll be chatting and we can do a membership there as well. So I shared on my Facebook page. Thank you. Uh, I hope you like this cute little project. Oh, I forgot about the the little uh, top part, but I honestly think without it, it's even cuter. This one in particular, because I don't think it, it needs, uh, this is more, um, This th these houses are more kind of mechanical feel, grungy something, like a little bit more, I don't know, masculine, I don't know, different, which these are more feminine houses. And I think they don't really need um, the top part. And I just wanted to say, if you're watching the recording, don't don't worry. You can come back to uh, my channel and be part of other YouTube YouTube live. So uh, just uh, keep checking my social media, my Instagram. I have posted info everywhere, literally. So if you can promise me one thing, if you can promise me one thing, go to some of the videos and comment a little heart. Hello, thank you. I love your videos or something. Be a little bit more active. So even for the next time, if we will be doing draw for the free membership, I think people who are more active are having a chance to be uh, chosen. Now I need to get some work done. First one, where steampunk style. Yes, steampunk style, exactly. Paula, you're reading my mind today, literally with your comments. Thank you so much. Uh, and I also wanted to say that um, I could be, I wish to be more, thoughtful more personal to you guys um but i i really try and it's not very possible to remember all the names to remember who said what or who like i just wish you to know that if i didn't recognize you in any way and you felt like it i really wish you to know that i appreciate every single one of you for being here for watching my videos for so many years and as it turns out many of you are here for more than eight years even. Some of you are probably super new from Instagram, I'm guessing. So thank you so much to all of you. Rain, my beautiful, my beautiful, gorgeous Rain. Thank you for moderating this chat today for all the all the help you did. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope we're going to have Anya next time as well. Anya, if you're watching, we're sending you huge hugs uh, from all of us. And we have to do some membership life as well soon so hopefully this will happen now that we are on the roll however i have to say believe it or not lucas did like five trials today and the microphone was not working i'm like lucas you're not serious it's an hour and a half to life and you tell me now that the the, the the microphone is not working how is that even possible so we use different browser we changed something and it's working but i think we have to order a new cable just in case or something just to have a backup all the hearts i see i see thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you uh when i'm nervous i'm speaking like this lucas is so funny he's l listening there and and sitting and listening and thinking Will this woman ever stop talking? That's exactly how he thinks, really. He 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 takes a big, big laugh at me a lot of times. And it's so funny because I think people think I'm a super confident person, which in the reality, nah, -uh, it's not like that. So, and Lucas would be, I actually, I feel very much confident when he's like very near me. However, we love each other and we disagree so much. I just love that he's around. So, yeah. <laughs> thank you guys thank you for all the love oh honestly thank you thank you thank you i will miss you until next time my beautiful friend there will be next time very soon i promise we have to do life for members and maybe that zoom finally now that we are <sighs> calmer i think i'm calmer either way i think i'm calmer i have a reputation for talking taking at work and among my patience me and would never stop my oh <laughs> we would not <laughs> lucas is a rock star thank you okay guys i think i'm going to be finishing so lucas can press this top button uh once more congratulations to those lucky winners we have the end of month so we're gonna do another life in two three weeks watch the space 
because it's going to be there if you wish to be part of it. So you can watch the old videos. So check the playlist. You'd be lucky to just have the three years of catching up with the videos. And actually, one more thing I wanted to say, because I completely didn't mention this about the books. No, joking. <laughs> Not about the books. <laughs> but I just wanted to say that if you want to cancel the membership, you can anytime. If you want to upgrade it for higher level, you can. If you want to go high level lower, you can. All of that is possible. I can't do it for you. Because sometimes I would get email, please cancel my membership. Or how do I cancel? Uh, you cancel, just go to membership and you just cancel it. Go to that community tab next to it, it's membership. Uh, but I can't physically do any of it. I can gift the membership, but I can't cancel. I can't change your level, nothing. So um yeah i hope you will enjoy those videos from membership like i think it's such a great idea uh okay bye guys come on lucas i think you mm. I love you guys. Uh, and thank you so much. One, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. And the, the other video, this one, if you haven't seen it, because actually you loved it. I was surprised. I was so surprised that you loved this video. I'm not joking because it's actually quite of a popular video. Um, and it's such a simple video as well. I much more prefer the, the likings of this one. But it, both are doing super on the channel. You love them both. Um, Tell me quickly, which video would you prefer to see? Which style next? This heart style or stone? Let's say heart or stone. So I'll know now. Heart or stone? If you can leave in the comments quickly the info. I'm super curious what to record next. I'll know which direction to go. Heart. Oh, is it? Okay. Bombelki. Oh, the, the stones. Stones, stones, heart. Heart. You Stones, both stones, heart. Yeah, I knew it. You're going to be 50-50, guys. This is it. I knew it. You are like family, Miami. Keep talking after saying goodbye. <laughs> it's so true. Um, you know how Irish people are saying bye over the phone? You have to Google that because I don't think I will ever mimic this. But Irish people are doing this. And I'm not joking. Yeah, bye, 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 bye. Yeah, 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 bye, bye, bye. Okay, bye, 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 bye. Yeah, yeah, bye, bye. <laughs> I, I mean it. It's actually so hilarious when I speak with some of the friends. Stone, stone, stones. Both brick, stones, hard stone. Guys, do not make it my life easy. No, I think stones are actually uh, winning. Yeah, that's how it is. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a beautiful week, my friends, because the week is just starting. No, it's actually Sunday tomorrow. So, okay, have a beautiful Sunday tomorrow and a beautiful week. And we'll chat very soon. I love you. I think I definitely need a Baileys and a popcorn today. Like, seriously, Lucas. What do you mean, no? Yes. We need that. Dobranoc i do zobaczenia. Oh, Angie, welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. You are my rock. Seriously, it's no joke. Oh, Raki, hello. Welcome back. I didn't see you. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, yeah, Lucas has his finger on the stop button and he's he's not pressing it. It's not me. <laughs> it's Lucas. Okay. Okay, guys. Seriously. Bye. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye. <laughs>